Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisham. So I gotta remember where exactly we were trying to go last time, but I know we at least unlocked up to the second elevator. We had some mixed feelings about the game itself, talking about how we felt the castle design was actually fairly good, if not, like, way above average compared to, like, a Castlevania game. Uh, so we, we gave... I guess our praise for that, but I'm still not really sold on the roguelike portion. So I, I don't know if my opinion will change over time. I kind of doubt it. I think what will help me enjoy the platforming more, since platforming is definitely my weak point, is pretty much the moment they let me, we'll say, redo a bad platforming moment. So like characters with glide or double jump, when we get those, my enjoyment of the game will definitely go up. Because I still feel like that, to me, is the biggest struggle, not bosses. Since I'm taking a lot of damage going to and from different places, due to just not platforming well. Like, sometimes it's me not seeing an enemy pattern, but like 80% of the time it's been platforming. Even in even in the first boss, when I took damage, it was platforming. <laughs> it, was, it was just learning to deal with the slow mechanic. Uh, oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Let's go close the music and I guess jump into things. Uh, we were joking last time, essentially, what we could see it looked like they were trying to do a Gradius. So I'm hoping that our mage character becomes super broken. Because he's more my playstyle. Where it's kind of like mid-range. I don't need to be like super long range. And if he could double hit at all, I'm pretty much not going to use the knight as soon as that happens. I think what'll help with the knight is I like his ability to reflect projectiles, so like I will not take as much damage playing as him. But the moment the mage gets double hit, it's over. I'm pretty much not using the knight ever again. Welcome to Parameter. Because right now this the, the knight double hits, so I feel like zero reason to use the uh the archer. Okay, so where were we trying to go? We have no red keys. I am... Oh, I was checking out a room. I'm convinced there's probably a power-up that I can take to enter that room, and I'm just going to ignore the one that was, like, right in the middle where the center dot is. Because I am convinced I did not miss a hidden wall or platform. I, I probably literally have to fly upwards, or maybe the rogue character gets the ability to multi-kick up a wall infinitely. So... Whenever that happens, we're, we'll just move on. I'm just assuming I'm missing a power-up. So I think my goal is to go up here, with our destination being this enemy right there. Now I have to remember how to get there. <laughs> Which is what I was saying before. Because we're also backtracking a lot, and kind of jumping around the map is a little tedious. It is super unfortunate trying to remember this map structure. Like, it's really good in the moment, but man oh man... Uh, when you die or go backwards, I'm like, I have no idea how to get to where I was in a fast manner. I guess I could try to go left two, up two, left two, and hope I could get the other elevator. Maybe? Hopefully I won't be prevented from doing so. So we got the power up for the mage. Might as well use him for a little longer. Oh. S silly me. I forgot I needed the other character. Also, I think one thing that will make my enjoyment of the game go up is I'm assuming at some point I'm going to be able to switch characters mid-combat, and that will also make it so that I basically never use the bow girl. I'm being real with you. When that happens, she's not being used unless I am forced to via gimmick. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just declaring it preemptively. Oh, right. I can't really go that way. Yeah, so some of my playthrough is just me going to be getting lost in the map between our pause times. I'm looking at the map again, so I can't go left and up. So where do I go? Do I just die? I think I just die, honestly. Oh, please kill me real quick. <laughs> like, like, listen, chat. I need to get to the elevator. I really don't feel like messing around with this game. We're, we're taking the elevator. <laughs> just like, listen. If there's an achievement for having low deaths, it's not happening in this playthrough. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't care. So I don't know what most of these do. Oh, there's an insight. I guess I can see what first insight is. Is this lore or something? Okay, it's lore. A village, a woman named Lydia lived with a man named Malice. Despite any noticeable feelings of love between them, they bore a child. Spite? 
Did they mean no noticeable feelings of love? I feel like that's a... I feel like that sentence doesn't make sense, despite any noticeable feelings of love. That sentence... I don't think that sentence makes sense. It, it, it's that there's not a contrast here. Like, you want them to have noticeable feelings of love. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, despite them having noticeable feelings of love? Because that's what that reads. I'm assuming it's supposed to be no noticeable feelings of love. The child was born ill and twisted, looking more like a beast than a man. Malice hated his son. Oh, who would have thought the character named after Malice? Who would have thought, chat? The M-A-L-I-C-E spelled M-A-L-U-S in the game. Who would have thought hate hated his son? <laughs> right, chat? Like, 10 out of 10 on the names on that one. Cannot welcome the idea that his soul, Scion, possessed such weakness. Lydia loved him despite his shortcomings, vowing to herself to always do for him what was best for him. My sweet child, please, eat something. Holy, her anime eyes are ridiculous. Can we talk about that, chat? Her eye is as big as her hand. That is ridiculous. <laughs> what, are, what are the proportions? Like, her sprite seems much more normal, but holy, the, the profile image. Isn't that a character from Gundam? I swear that's a character from Gundam, chat. I, I swear that is a character from Gundam. Listen, I, like, <laughs> I mean, they made his nose really small and more to the side, but I swear that hairstyle and everything is very Gundam. That was this, hmm, what a waste. <laughs> that was a jump scare indeed. How could you say that? He's your son too. Son? He's nothing but a burden to us both. He can't even speak. He just gasps for air like he's on his deathbed. Also, the pose of the kid in the image is certainly something. Dot, dot, dot. We give everything we have to him. He might have a normal life someday. But he never will. So why must we suffer? Malice, don't you have a heart? Listen. I don't care anymore. I'm hungry, tired, I'm suffering. But what's best for the boy? Then put him out of his misery. Knock, knock, chat. Cultist leader? Okay, there we go. Malice Lydia, we hope this isn't a bad time. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. We overheard your conversation. It's not your business. Leave now or else. We don't mean to cause either of you any unrest. We've seen visions of the future. Dot dot dot. Your son's condition will never improve. It will worsen. He will eventually die. No, you lie! The Titans have shown us the truth, whether you believe it or not. <laughs> I like that I knew it was or not before the dialogue was there. Felt it in my heart, chat. So why then? Come all the way here just to tell us that. Lydia, we know that you want what's best for your son. You must understand. What's best for your son is to stop his suffering. I like the other cultist next to him, by the way, on the right going. He's going like, yes, yes, me lord. And he's doing like the evil finger pyramid. Like, what is he doing over there? Oh, his hand waves. You're not allowed to see the other cultist's face. His finger points, dot, 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 to end his life. Your nemesis story begins to make more sense. Okay. I'm kind of curious what Titan's ego is, but at the same time, I'm kind of Like, I mean, technically that was a waste of orbs, but we backtracked enough that I don't really see it as such. I would like to save up for maybe some defense ups, but I think what I'll do in the meantime... If on the off chance this character gets the Gradius power up, because it looked like he had part of it, but it's just not working yet, I probably want to improve his strength, with Arius being my backup character, who's naturally tanky, until I get to the point where I can really just kind of waylace everything. Okay, I'm remembering the controls a little more. Okay, so that's where I want to be. So I'm going to go right to up one, left two, and I think that's the only thing I can do unless there's some hidden way to get a red key early. I just missed it. Yeah, there's also something down there, but I don't think I could do anything with that yet. I'm looking at this, I'm like, man... This 
kind of annoying going through this backwards. We came through the other way. I'll play it real safe, chat. Listen. Oh! When you're attacking and then you dash, it doesn't... It doesn't let you turn right away? That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I have to remember that. I was holding right and dash just for chat clarity. And I definitely did not go right, but I did dash. Speaking of platforming. Bonk. Did all of that to get here. Serious type of dash, kind of. It's more rest I feel like people keep making that comparison, and it is definitely way more strict than X's dash, and it's kind of annoying. Like, I, I can't... Even when I jump in the air, like, I don't necessarily keep my momentum. It's kind of weird. I also can't attack during the dash, which I think by that definition makes it not quite a Mega Man dash. Um, is there anything else I want to do here? Do I want to go left or right? Yeah, like, if I could dash an attack, then I would be more in agreement. But, like, only dash? I can then jump an attack, which is okay. But, yeah, the... The, the dash without the ability to attack during it is really awkward. No double damage uh, shots or anything. There we go. Maybe it's a new move. I don't know. Maybe. But welcome, Pika Wood. Bonk. So I'm going to take it slow. See, there's a key over there. I've unlocked access to it, but I don't actually have a place to blue key anymore. I'm assuming there's something up ahead that will do something. Welcome, DevG. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. I don't think I can cross that with the dash jump. Like, just jumping from the elevator to the other side. Oops. I might be able to slide jump off of this. Yeah, he has like the Mega Man X squat, I would say. But like, the way it's used is not quite like a Mega Man X, unfortunately. Unlocked another door. Oh, I got punished for not bringing the mage. Wow. I will say, that is a bad feeling. So for those that missed the other session, roughly in the center of the screen, there's kind of a face facing to the left with a black orb in front of it. Or in its mouth, more accurately. I can't do anything with this character. So we need to find a campfire. Unfortunate. What is this hallway? I mean, I should kill these because I need to for a different achievement thing. Wow, both of these need the mage. Feels really bad. Is there really no other place to swap yet? Maybe there's one up here, hopefully. Oh, actually I can't break through that yet. Where was the... Oh. I'm not gonna lie, chat. Like, I the nearest campfire is here. It is not even really all that close. Unfortunate. We gotta backtrack a bit. Hopefully, I don't die on the way down. Please don't be a one way. Oh, this. Oh, and I have to get through that room to get it. Oh man, that's unfortunate. Chad, I think I'm just gonna game over in a moment. I'll be real with you. <sighs> Doing this without dash seems kind of interesting. So we just unlock like a somewhat fun mechanic. Also, I don't understand the photorealistic lines. I'll be real with you. I guess I'll save. But this character has no movement abilities yet. Done. Hmm. I mean, I'm glad I slightly improved him prior to this point. I almost bonked my head and hurt myself. Okay. What am I gonna do with this? 
think I'm just gonna take some pot shots, chat. Listen, if we have dash, I think I could time it better, but... As a reminder, I can't heal at all unless I break those candles that you see, and that's it. That's my only source of healing until I die. Which is kind of rough, I'm not gonna lie. So I want to get some extra kills so I can get more upgrades for him. Because if the game is going to force me to keep playing him, I'm going to need something. It's like slightly too weak. Let's see. I have two paths. One's a boss. Well, a mini boss. On the plus side. The mage is very good at this kind of fight. Pew, 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 pew. Pretty easy. Let's see. <laughs> really? I picked the wrong path. Sigh. Alright, so I have to get through all... Do I even want to do that? No. You know what? Until I need that blue key, chat... I don't think I'm doing that with the mage. Going five spaces without a dash? I don't think so. Oh, thanks. We'll come back later. What's the point of this room? I can see that there's a candle not lit on the other face. But let's talk to the Legend of Zelda thing for more information. The path forward will open when the four skulls of the world is glow with fire. Okay. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, man. Okay. Listen, chat. Listen, chat. Listen. I have done this in so many games. This is, like, the only puzzle I will understand. <laughs> I'll be real with you, chat. Like, I if this is the level of puzzle, I can handle that. That's fine. I don't care about that. Okay, let's clear out the room. Yeah, I like the bigger shots. It's a little easier, so I don't have to be as lined up with the enemy. I like that this guy can do kind of like jump strikes like this. So he definitely feels like pretty mobile for attacking, unlike some of the other characters. The other characters have to kind of commit to standing still, or I have to already be jumping. But with him, I just kind of do whatever I want. Although downside, his head is at a weird spot. Yeah, that music is really not warranted for that character anymore. Okay, so we did all this for what exactly? Oh, he didn't die right away. That was kind of scary. So presumably at some point we're going to need a blue key. I already have one. But I'm not going to use it unless I'm forced to. Ooh, a place to swap. I don't really like where this is. It's not in a way that really helps me. What's up here? The red switch would maybe open the way to... I'm assuming one is health, one is damage upgrades, those little stones. We found one so far. So, oh, presumably the, the way... The reason why it looks like there's a room that doesn't do anything, there's hidden switches in this game for people that missed it last time. So I think that's probably a hidden switch. Can I fall on that from up here? I can if I want to. Alright, plus side. We could kill this and then go hit the switch. Let him go by. That's not how I meant to fall, but you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> okay. The red switch... Oh, maybe the red switch just opens the column. Okay, that's fair. We did unlock an item. Well, that's scary. The Mega Man scroll. 
when you're right next to an enemy. Made me hesitate. So, so far, not too bad. Is this health up? Or damage? If this is damage up, that's also fine. Max HP plus one, that's it? <laughs> I take like six damage a hit. That's not a... That, that's not really worth it. I don't know about that chat. Mm. Okay. Oh, I just realized. Should have waited for him. Platforming got me again. <sighs> I bonked my head. anything to use it on. Okay. I mean, if I die now, it doesn't really matter. I could get a good uh, defense upgrade for this character, which will probably help me. Which is infinitely better than just getting one health. So at this point, I'm thinking about dying rather than walking all the way back. The question is... Do I want to... Because there's a whole room over to the left which leads to a boss. Is there any way I can possibly get a little more exploration in before I die? Because with my health total, there's no reason for me to do a boss. But I can maybe extend our visit here a little longer. Any extra meter is good. I think I needed 300 to get a defense up. Which will be good. That'll save me from my own platforming. Oh. I found out where they use the key. So if nothing else, I unlocked a shortcut, so that's good. That'll save me some time. That was rude. <laughs> I did not see that spike right away. Uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I die here, but you know what? Let's go out in a blaze of glory. Oh wait, they're just far enough that they won't hit me. That's good. Never mind, we're good. Oh, we killed the minimum number to unlock something for later. Hmm. This is going well. If I can unlock another elevator, I'm going to be very happy. So I can't reach these without having a double jump uh, character, but with a projectile, I could kind of cheat it. At least I got some of that. There's a blue boss eye required and a blue key required. Okay. I found yet another campfire. Hmm. Okay. I need a silver key to advance. Oh no, do I have to play as the archer? Uh-oh. Oh boy. Well, platforming time, I guess. Dodge through there. Don't die to something stupid. Listen, we'll, we'll chip these enemies out. So we made actually pretty good progress. Although this enemy bonking, like the uh, Windows or the DVD screensaver is kind of annoying. He's just kind of in the way. I don't think I'm dead dead, but this is not looking good. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I think I take eight damage from that, by the way, so I would have taken one more hit. Okay. So there seems to be a wall I can't go up yet. 
go downwards a little bit more. Uh oh. Alright, so we need to play as the knight. That's fine. Only the knight could get through his color tile areas. Okay, no hidden walls. There's a switch down there, which I'm not sure what it does. Oh, it opens the block. Never mind, disregard. My eyes then saw the rest of the screen. We're good. We're gonna let this idiot just attack me for a little bit. I don't have to play dangerously at all, chat. Listen. There we go. Up in. I'm not sure if my attacks deflect that yet. Okay, they do. We always gotta test it in a safe manner. Now I've unlocked the ability to not play as this character. So does it want me to go back and play as the mage now? Perhaps. I feel like the answer has never been choose the bow girl. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. There's like one time so far that it's been relevant and that's it. So we'll kill a few more of these for meter. Let's see how far we get. She got benched. Yeah, she really did. I right, just so there's three orbs. Does it matter what order I hit them in? So good prediction. But then, what do I do? I don't think I can make this jump normally. Now I got, oh, now I gotta play as the bow girl. Oh, that's rude. Maximum rudeness. I gotta go through this room twice. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. If I had the ability to free swap, I'm telling you, my enjoyment would go up like tenfold. That way I don't have to do this. So let's hope that it's in the game. And then at that point, Bow Girl will only be brought out for platforming sections, and that's basically it. I mean, I technically made her attacks faster, so she's not totally terrible. In case I'm forced to use her. I might as well just kill this thing. Okay, so we're, we have enough for a defense upgrade and maybe a mini buff. Not bad. I don't know how she's going to deal with the slime, because I feel like that's not her best matchup. Okay, she does enough damage that two shots work. So I think what I got to do is this. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. I mean, at least we have a okay fire rate. We're going to be here a little bit. I like that she can sometimes crit things. So it makes up for her slower rate of fire, because it's kind of hard for her to compete with the double... the double whammy slam attack from our other characters. Also, what the heck is this? <laughs> is quick swapping worth it? Yeah, we'll go, Jonathan, Charlie, Jonathan, Charlie! Just over and over. Yeah, I, I'm aware of Calvishan, that's what I was talking about. But it's like, it's very slow. Like, in the span of her doing a single shot, I've already hit twice anyway with other characters, so it doesn't feel worth it. Because that's the problem. Like, the knight double hits, and he could do, right now, like, 32 damage to her 24. And he reflects projectiles, and he's tankier. Instead, we have this awkward platforming minigame I have to do with her. And I wish I had the knight here instead, for sure. Then I could just deflect projectiles. Yeah, charlatan, charlatan, yeah. Oh, there we go. That took way too long. Are you, 
Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. I hit the ceiling. Oh, if I failed that, I would have been so sad, chat. If if I had fallen there, I would have been so tilted. I would have made that entire loop around the entire floor so far. Completely worthless. Yeah, like she doesn't even do double damage to this thing. Like why? Where where's the bow user's natural damage dealing versus flying targets? Right, chat. She got robbed. She, who would have thought the bow user is the worst anti-air character in the game? Take that, Fire Emblem. Your weapon triangle is wrong. Bow, bow weaker than monster. Alright, well, I can't really do that much until he comes back up here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to go to. I remember Rangers being bad in old D&D. Mm. Did the boss get stuck? You've got to be kidding me. Um, I keep saying boss. It's more like mini boss. I guess I'll try to time the shots even though there's a delay. Alright, we got a rhythm going at least. We'll get in there eventually, chat. Listen. There we go. The boss is a DVD logo, exactly. <sighs> that delay on the shot, chat, is brutal. I have to press it so far in advance. Alright, so there's nothing I could do here until I get the mage. Okay, there's a lot of items I didn't pick up on the way here. We know one of them was a blue key. The one in the middle was a health up. Which I can't do anything with currently. So, you know what? Actually, a question. Is this a thing over here? Oh, I was looking to see if there's a hidden switch. There was not. I will say, I like that I can stand on top of ladders. Or game should let you do that. So now I'm back here. I apparently did something to warrant getting extra souls. Okay. I don't know what, but I did. Okay. Hmm. I kind of remember this. So now I don't have to make the loop anymore unless I want to, but we have to make the loop at some point because I missed keys. That's fine. We'll worry about that later. That's that's for future me to figure out how to route those items back in. I don't think we miss much. There's an upgrade that I can't reach yet, and I need to be the mage, which I wasn't able to be because I needed to be her to get the other area. So now I could technically backtrack to the other area as the mage. Because remember, I had to do that little platform jump in order to get to where I was before. So nothing in here was reachable by the mage until I just opened this up. So I like that aspect of it. It's just... Oops, I didn't mean to jump. Okay, so now we can... If I come down here with the mage, I can activate a shortcut so that instead of coming from over here yeah, I still need damn I'm uh, so I'm like five rooms away from a campfire that's kind of rough what to do we'll get there eventually I'm surprised I haven't died to platforming I somehow managed to defeat the three Cyclops without taking damage I'm more impressed by that to be honest with you than anything else especially on one of my least used characters that scared me. I scared myself on that one. So I have to come back here with a mage twice. Okay. But I can't do anything yet, right? No. Okay. So I don't think there's a reason to backtrack, because I, I can't get to that door yet. So let's just move forward. 
So ultimately, the game wants me to be mage, which to be fair, it does feel like they're pushing really hard for him to be protag. He just needs like one more ability and he'll just be like a god at this point. The only thing holding him back right now is he just has less starting stats than the knight. And the knight got a lot of early upgrades. So putting myself at around 700 souls should get me what I want next time we go back. So we should be able to afford two upgrades. Good enough. Oh, I scared myself on that one because I was kind of free falling. All right, so we need to come back with the mage and then that'll let me do more things here. So there was campfire to the right of us. I remember doing this as the mage. I don't remember where the death floor was. It's not over here. I don't really want to deal with this, but I think I have to. How unfortunate. <laughs> this is terrible. Um. Oh, the... I jumped too high. Okay, better cycle. Ooh. Oh, I can't go that way because of the blue door. Um, hmm. I was so excited on actually making it through there that I didn't look at where the door was. That is annoying. So where is my no nearest camp campfire? Is it really, honestly, all the way back at the elevator? Because I can't use this one because I need the double jump to go past that room. Are you telling me I... Okay. Noah chat. It's fine. Let's embrace death real quick. <laughs> this is the quickest way to get to the campfire. <laughs> I'm like, listen. Uh, we, we tried, and I'm like, wait a minute. Never mind. Not worth. Yeah, yeah. We, we didn't do, do your promise or whatever. Right, let's improve the mage a little bit. Anything else we could get with him? Successful hit leaves a small field of damaging enemies for a short time. Press power of the cosmos. Cost 10 health to use. That does seem like it'd be a boss killer move. For now, I probably want one defense up, because my platforming is terrible. And slightly buff up my strength, because I'm not hitting a damage threshold. We already have an attack speed increase on him, so he's almost on par with the knight already. Is there anything else I want to purchase? I don't think so, right? I could buy more story. I think I'm going to hold off. I think I want to actually get power-ups now. 300's kind of a big commitment. But welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's like it wanted me to do the platforming, and I'm like, yeah, about that. I don't think so. All right, chat, just mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the hard, a hard no on that one. I still don't know what those golden blocks are for. So see these. I'm assuming I can interact with those at some point. Glad you got some rest. Oh, yeah, by the way, Chris, I meant to mention, uh, I, I think I actually have your mags already, so we'll we'll talk about, uh, potentially later, to just give you the ones that you're missing, because I believe the, the ones I got from Hellcleave actually satisfy the order. Yeah, because I forgot I put in an order for your characters already. Uh, let's see, so I have to, so, there's a lot in here, so blue key should not be hard to get, if I can get the dash character. I don't remember why I couldn't get this one. And I couldn't reach this one, I think, because I needed to do some shenanigans over here. And also, there's something in the campfire room I couldn't reach. Interesting. That one I probably should have been able to get. But that's fun. I'm glad we bought the item tracker, because I did not see the one in the campfire room. I'm sure it's something very obvious. Oh, we're not quite two-shotting. If we could two-shot those, that will save a lot of time. Yeah, we kind of have a long journey ahead of us. Which I don't look forward to without the dash boots here. I think I just take the bullet and then iframe. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is the real way to do this. Just take the... Oh, I got greedy. Take the bullet to not take spike damage. I think it's the, the real play. But I, I don't think I have another choice other than to do this, though, which is awkward. Because reminder, Chad... Can't dodge it. I don't have a campfire up here that I can reach. Like this, this one locks itself off. Like I can make the campfire to go into these rooms, but I can't go here. I don't think. Well, I guess technically, I guess I could, but then it's like more of a journey than it needs to be. I'd rather not do at that point. 
Let's hopefully unlock a campfire to the left so I don't have to do this weird journey every time. Oh, right. I need to do that anyway. Is there anything else I need to do with this character, actually, since I'm over here? Both of these Okay, both of those required the knight. That's annoying. So no matter what, I had to go to the right. But you know what? In that case, let's embrace death. I don't feel like doing this with the uh, no knight challenge. I forgot there's an... I <laughs> Short-term memory. I forgot I couldn't go that way. That's where I'd like to be able to mark the mini-maps to let me know that there's a one-way gate I can't do anything about yet. But unfortunately, that doesn't exist. Um, I don't think his strength is a problem at the moment. I'm going to save up for one of the other abilities. Because I think having bigger missile size will make bosses easier, so I don't have to aim as well. I'm kind of curious about the 1400, if it's any good or not. So now we'll do this again as the knight. And then I still have to reach the campfire, but this time I'll have a character with dash, so I guess that's okay. So at least there's, like, quick campfire access from the elevator, so I could be the right character. But again, a lot of it so far is I'm more getting blocked by stuff not really marked on the map, which is a bit awkward. So, yeah, so it looks like there's going to be another... I think once we manage to get to the thing I'm trying to go to, I'll unlock an elevator. And then I'll go backtrack for the remaining areas. Yeah, every time we die, we're allowed to power up. We unlock something that technically we don't have to die to do it, but it just makes more sense to do it this way. Like, this section is definitely built for him. But, oh, it did the thing where it ate my input. Oh, I hate that so much. Whatever. Yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about earlier. If I'm attacking and I hold left and dash, I don't dash left, which is really awkward. So the game will remember where I'm facing. I have to physically let him turn before dashing, which is awkward. We already took a lot of damage, which kind of sucks. But I have to get to that one area, and then we should be fine. Really? Really? It shot me right as I went to make that jump? That sucks. Oh, there we go. I forgot to dash. Right, I'm just resetting. <laughs> listen, listen, chat. I hit dash too late. I hit dash too late. So unfortunately, we're going to see a lot of this because I'm not good at platformers. So it wanting me to do a lot of precise jumps, not going to go well. So we need to unlock this next warp. I don't worry about the bosses at all. It's just the platforming. And again, I'm going to feel so much happier when we finally get glider double jump. I know, it's so annoying. It's just like... All these like little nuances. Well, I really fell between there. Can I just... It's a game. <laughs> I'm like, I fell, down th I fell down there and there is no fast way to get back up there. I think I... I think the last save is fine. Yeah, because I'm assuming every time I die, it saves. Good assumption. Okay. Oh, man, I just want this next elevator. I'm telling you, chat. Flight, double jump. Once those get unlocked. Or character switching. Character switching mid battle would be huge for me. I'm not going to lie. That way I don't have to backtrack constantly. Off by like one space, unfortunate. Like, it's just very easy to take a lot of damage. And given that I can't heal, as a reminder, it's really brutal over the long run. Alright, so let's try this again. Mistimed completely. Oh, 
wanted to shortcut up there. That's fine. I don't technically have to. Taking too much damage. I thought the snake was still going forward. Oh, man, this is just painful. Because then I have to go all the way to the right. This sucks. So I could go to the upper path now if I want to. Because there is a key up there that I need to get eventually. So I'm doing all this just to... Oh. Oh, really? Forgot that's how you reach this. Man, that campfire is in a crappy position. So I have to go... Wow, chat, that is... That is a really long journey just because I can't swap to the mage. I'm, I'm just saying, this is a really long journey I have to make back without dying to unlock that shortcut. That is super unfortunate. I might take that candle, to be honest with you. So now, as a reminder chat, I have to go from here, down here, up here, over here, over here, up there. I have to make it like six rooms, plus, with half HP. I'm gonna break this candle. So all we gotta do, this, this room isn't too bad. It's more the, the cannon fire room that's gonna be annoying to get through without any movement abilities. So I'm gonna pop the candle, because ideally I will never have to go back that way ever again. We should be good. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real with you, chat. I'm popping both candles. <laughs> Just, I don't, I don't wanna go back through that. Okay, fortunately I think extra damage there helped a little bit. Also, I just realized. If I kill this guy, I could get one more upgrade. Oh, we're two points shot from an upgrade. That's important. So I'm not going to bother with the path above us. We're, we're going to come back when we get movement abilities. I'm not forced to go get that key, so I'm not going to. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, it's, it's at that point where I'm like, hmm, it's okay. I can wait. I just have to avoid taking a side path for now, and we should be fine. Let's deal with this. Okay, we need to unlock the shortcut so I could go to the place I actually need to go to. Okay, finally. That's a little less punishing. I should double check to see if the elevator's here, actually. Where is this elevator? It has to be over here somewhere. Let's go find the elevator and then I can die with dignity. Up, up, up. Please be the elevator. Please be the elevator. Right, chat? Please. Campfire. Oh, you know what? If to the left of us is an elevator, I'm going to be so happy. I don't have to make that journey again. Thank you. <laughs> right, chat? Please don't make me do that journey again. Okay, good. Now I could just go straight here. So if I... Oh, actually, so if I die to the boss, I could retry. But I'm going to be honest with you. We're going to try the boss later. We'll come back. There's something I think I could get right now. And if I get injured into the boss fight, it doesn't really matter. Game, please. Am I physically... I was going to say, am I physically off the platform and walking back on the platform? What was happening there? All right, so now we got to get to the thing that I was trying to go for. So that was a checkpoint, at least. The thing I really have to go for is up here. Oh, the spikes of... Oh, really? Really? That sucked. <laughs> I was like... They, they got me on that one. Not much I could do about that. So 
What did this unlock? Did I miss something on the screenshot? I don't see anything different. Maybe it unlocks something on the other side. We can't go up here because I didn't beat the other boss yet. So presumably we'll kill this boss, get a blue crystal. The blue crystal will open this door. There might be a power up beyond the boss. We still have all these other things to check out, but at least I have a warp to make it a little less awful. So I think for the remaining things, I might just wait a little bit. So let's go, let's play defensively, learn the boss pattern, and then beat the boss for real. So I can afford a couple hits here. So I have more than enough to get a defense upgrade on this character. His attack speed increase has, I think, been paying off. That spike there is so evil. There's no reason to not farm these souls while I'm here. Look at all that. So we might get Shoulder Bash soon, which I'm assuming that's how you get through those blocks. Like the Wario Tackle. Alright, can I beat this boss at half health? Let's witness, chat. I'm gonna guess no. But for now, let's observe how many attacks this boss has. Hmm. Ah, uh, face. Assuming the crystal is the weakness. Gorgon said, oh, let's move the chat over so the chat can read it easier. Was it you who defeated my brother? A concept of family exists to Gorgons, I see. Fascinating. We are not so different, you and us. Oh, man, that is a, that is so cliche, chat. Oh, man, that hurt the soul. What? You murder and eat innocent people. Tell me, wizard. What did my brother do to you to deserve his fate? Oh, he killed us. What do you mean? This this line of dialogue doesn't work because I died to him. <laughs> right, chat? Like, like, wait, no, he actually killed me earlier. That's a good reason to kill him back. I don't... Save your breath. I will have vengeance. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, so is he gonna... Uh... Oh, so his whole face takes damage. Okay. Oh, that explosion is big. That was a good assumption. Oh, that explosion is so annoying. It's not even that I'm not, like, jumping out of the way. It's just it has a huge hitbox. It's kind of unfortunate. So I think I could beat him. His pattern is much easier than the other bosses. It's just that AoE is ridiculous. So if I was playing as the knight here, I think this would have been free. Even if I can't reflect these... Oh, I jumped improperly. Even if I can't reflect these, the knight should make this free. Okay. Um, what? Do we f phase two at him, I guess? I'm, so I'm sorry, what? Okay, well, uh, that got a little more complicated. Just suddenly sign worm. Yeah, I pretty much just want to bump that up for next time. I think otherwise I'm okay. I'm not going to buy the health up. Yeah, that was like, that was, that was a little rude, I'm not gonna lie. So, I want to see how that fight feels as the knight. Plus, we also get alternate dialogue, so let's go see what that is. So, if nothing else, if I retry, taking one less damage a hit matters. Because I'm taking, like, what, seven or eight hits to die? That's eight extra health I have in the fight. Although, oh, that would have been super bad. I'm all, not bad, bad. I, I probably can still win with the mage. But I think right now our knight is our best character. I think I'm just gonna play as him. I have to get a little closer than the mage. 
But he attacks so much faster than the mage currently. Let's see what his dialogue is this time. He should say something different. That smell. It was you who defeated my brother, was it not? Oh, it actually remembers who killed him. We're here to save our people. Anyone who tries to stop us is an enemy. Horos was a fool, but he was my brother. I will crunch your bones. I guess that's kind of neat that it remembered who I slayed the boss with. I guess. Oh yeah, is yeah, this is like a joke comparatively. Yeah, chat, can we agree? The knight is a little knight's a little better than the mage versus bosses. <laughs> that was free. That first phase was free, chat. I only took dumb damage on the first hit. Yeah, way easier. So we gotta watch out for oops on the sign worm. We're still gonna come over here. Uh, oh, I can't hit him when he's like that. That's interesting. I kind of disagree with that. I felt like I was safe. Man, it's not very generous with where I can stand to dodge that. Uh -huh. Okay, good call. Is he ever going to be hittable, or is he just going to do drive-bys to me forever? Oh no, it really wants me to hit him when he's like that? That's... not the best. <sighs> Come on. Hmm... Alright, so if I get under the sine wave, it's a little better. I got a crit because I hit his weak point. It's still like a really long amount of time I can't hit the boss. Oh, if I turned around, I think I could have double damage there. Unfortunate. Okay, I got a couple hits. But yeah, you can see this is... I kind of wish the boss was just fighting me and not doing this. It feels like I'm fighting the Mega Man X Hydra, only it's just off screen for like 80% of the fight. You gotta be kidding me. I thought it was gonna do the close shot. I don't even think this is hard. It's just kind of wasting my time now. There we go. I'm getting a little better at trying to optimize the damage. Please do your sign worm thing. We're not. We're not. Okay, chat, we're gonna be here a while. I think I have it. I think I can win. It's just that it's not... It's not doing the sign worm. Maybe it's detecting where I am positionally. Is that why it's not sign worming? So if I stay in the middle, is he gonna sign worm me? Yes. It might be worth just taking damage to speed this boss up, to be honest with you. Okay, come to, come hit me in the middle. It's fine. Or not. Come on, hit me in the middle. I'll take damage to speed this fight up, trust me. There we go. We need, like, one more good sine wave. So, it, I don't know if that's just luck, or if he really does only do that if I'm in the middle. We'll wait a little bit. Come on, come to me. Your fate is sealed. You should just die attacking me. So close. So close. Come on, come to me. Got him. Alright, so second try is fine. That is a lot of flashing. Okay, let's go grab the orb. 
so we now have upgrade material. Dumbfounded silence, yeah. Yeah, that boss was just kind of trolling, honestly. It wasn't a hard fight at all, don't get me wrong. Like, as I said before, I don't think the bosses of this- Like, the game- The bosses are more complicated than, like, basic Castlevania bosses. Like, there's more than just two attacks. Like, they do have, like, six or seven moves. And it, but it's like, once I see it, it's over. <laughs> do you know what I mean, chat? Like, if he stops showing me new tricks, I'm like, I, I pick, on a, pick it up fairly quickly. Oh, I love his little helmet. Look at him, chat. Uh oh <laughs> Okay, I was not expecting him to angry charge at me. Got me on that one. Hmm. So I don't have a silver key to come up here. Oh. Oh, game? Okay. <laughs> don't don't do that. That's scary. So I unlock that. There's a blue key required, a silver key required. There's a blue key required here. I know I can get a blue key. I guess now it doesn't matter if we die. And it's interesting that it says there's a room up here. So this tells me there's definitely going to be some kind of wall jump ability. You know what I mean? Like I just kick up this wall and then get to another area. So what we should do is it doesn't matter if we die anymore because progress has been made. I could rest and do stuff, but I don't want to get uh, healing by accident. I'm going to wait until we're further and then see what the cutscene's about. Oh, is my mouse still on screen? My apologies. Let me do one thing, actually. Give me one second. Sometimes that happens with the, the background stuff. Do not capture cursor. Thank you. Thank you for informing me. Sometimes it's hard for me to move the mouse completely off because it's a full screen game. Let's see, so I could go back up to the other door. I guess I will. There we go. What was here? Oh, I got punished for not having the mage again. Wow. Okay. I need to be the mage here. What else can I do here? I don't think anything, right? Why could I not go to the left from there? Did I need the knight for something? Because I would have been the mage at this point. Again, if I die, it doesn't matter. We have a checkpoint to where I need to be anyway, and I could play as the character that will advance the area. But let's try to save up to 1500 to see if the power-up is any good. Oh, right. It was the one way that I couldn't do anything with. Hmm. So we, oh, we did go up there. Now I have the door here and a key. Hmm. So what's over here? <laughs> Something that just immediately requires the mage. Okay. Unfortunate. Well, at least I gave him defense up because he's going to need to survive for a little bit. Now it might be okay to rest. If it does heal me, it's fine because... I'm looking to make progress anyway. A flying gorgon. Scary, wasn't it? Yeah, my parents told me stories of such gorgons. Can they leave the ruins? They can't be away from their stone for form for long, but it depends on their strength. Surely a troubling thought. Speaking of troubling thoughts, you've been acting strangely since we entered this tower, Al. I've noticed it too. What's wrong? <clears throat> I don't even know how to bring it up. Dot, dot, dot something wrong. I won't deny it. <clears throat> but I'd rather not discuss it. But Al, your temperament affects us all. Dot dot dots. Arius. 
Please respect my wishes. Dot dot dot. <clears throat> Mushrooms and a big steak. Not your typical camping meal, is it? <clears throat> That's incredible! How did you manage to make that? It smells so yummy. I really mean it this time. Not this watering, just looking at it. Okay, so if we get full healed here, this is fine. Because we're in exploration mode. Go on, try it. I don't mind if I do. How is it? Heavenly. You've truly outdone yourself this time, Al. Hopefully like 20 heal. Wait. Why aren't you eating it? N -n no reason. Algus, where did you find this steak? Found it in a cave. Which cave? The one with the shooting spore mushrooms. They were all bundled up in a corner. There were two big ones in front, and a bunch of small ones hiding behind them. They made a funny squeak sound when I plucked them from the ground. Wait, didn't we get this cutscene before? Did they loop the cutscenes? Wait, no, this happened last time. Did it not save our cutscene usage? Hopefully that doesn't impact anything with the plot. Yes, we, he talked about the funny squeak last time too. You can even check the VOD chat. I'm 100% sure we had this conversation. Oh no! Elgis, what have you done? Yeah, so I got healed 25, which is fine. So, oops. Hopefully we didn't mess up something with the conversations we could see. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. So now... Oh, that's not interactable. Okay. Good to know. I'm sorry, what? What is this? I'm assuming going through the lightning kills you. <sighs> but I really want to see what happens if we try going further. <laughs> right, chat? I, I have to know. Whoa, uh, it just does four. This looks bad. Okay, it physically won't let me damage boost through it. Whoa. Game. Don't auto move me like that. That's scary. That's fine. So that damage is pretty benign, all things considered. So yeah, so like right now he's doing 12 a hit, the knight is doing 16 a hit and attacks faster than him. So our knight is still clearly our best character. Even if I didn't upgrade the knight's attack, he would still outdamage the mage currently. Hmm. This will go down a little bit. Is there anything else that I needed to do with him? So I can't really... We know there's something in... We know there's a key in here I can't reach. Is there anything I needed to do on the right side? I don't think so. <clears throat> Unless I go down twice, maybe I could try to go backwards from there. Double check what's here. Nothing hidden here. Oh, so there is a key in here. Oh. Well, that's good to know, right, chat? Well, we're going to play as the only character that can collect it. It's now relevant that we get a blue key back, because I need it for progress. Okay, it's, it's your turn, Archer Girl. Let's do it. And then just immediately abandon her. <laughs> just, just, like, literally immediately. Okay. I like her double jump, but I'm like, man, I need to actually be able to kill things on my way between places. Yeah, poor big head indeed. So we know that's an easy blue key. I don't remember what stopped us from getting this one. The blue key I think I wanted to do as uh as the knight, which I think I could do by just going left as the knight again. Yeah, so he's doing 14 without hitting both parts, but he does 16 at point blank. Let's go back. Let's go get the other blue key. Oh, right. It's a one-way. 
forgot. It looks like you could make that jump, but we already know we can't do that. We gotta play his big head again. So we need a total of 350 more to get an upgrade I'm looking for. Alright, now, now we cross our fingers I don't die as her on the way to a better place. The worst thing that happens is I just go ahead and... I guess... Pre there we go. I just go ahead and just go from the other warp. I prefer not to die at the moment, but it might still happen. Oh, she barely killed that in time. This is why we needed her, by the way. We open that shortcut, we know there's not much we could do here. I could bring the mage back, because it's only a couple rooms away. Let's bring the mage back into that room. Since we're here. It's not that big of a backtrack, at least. I'm sure if she could pick off of that. I didn't try. Nice. Right, so let's take advantage of the mage. We hopefully will get another upgrade to his orb so it does something. And once that happens, and once that happens, I have a feeling we'll no longer play the knight. Although the knight being able to deflect projectiles on that other fight seemed like one of the world's hardest counters. That fight went so fast when you could deflect. You don't have to learn bullet patterns at all. It's like, we night goes swingy. <laughs> right, chat? I'm scared I didn't make that jump. Yeah. Did all this for what? <laughs> oh no, what is this? Oh, what is that game? V V V V V? Where you go through the, the zigzag hallway of death? Is is this where we get glide, by the way? Am I gonna have to glide all the way down here? To get an item. Oh yeah it is. Yeah, somebody played some V V V V V. Local levitation. The moment I saw it. Alright, so we now have the platforming ability. East 3 would be proud of how dangerous that fall is. Hold the jump button to fall more slowly. Well, I finally got one of the items I was looking for. Okay, so we finally have a platforming ability with him, so that's good. This should let us make long jumps. So I don't need dash. But things like this should be free, more or less. I just have to hold jump earlier, I think. So it still doesn't help us with some of the platforming, but maybe this is good enough. Again, if we die, it doesn't really matter at this point. We, we achieved what we needed, which was A, unlock a shortcut, and then B, get something new that would help with platforming. He still falls pretty quickly, honestly. But it helps with doing, like, boss attacks. Like, if I'm doing this... Do something like this. Get more hits on the Gorgon. if I killed enough of these to get the other thing, so we might as well just go for it. Okay, so the glide is still really... He still falls really fast. Alright, so if I die here, it doesn't matter. I just need to get the blue, the blue key, and we're good. So if we take damage here, it does not matter in the slightest. 
Interesting that projectiles push the enemies slightly when they get contact with them. There we go. So we made it for the blue key we used earlier. So there's still an item from two rooms ago that I don't know how to access yet. Whatever. We need to die anyway. We'll consider that a speed up for later. Thank you, larger missile size. I think that actually lets me hit it. So we don't have the ability to break those blocks yet. So we're going to have to remember when we get presumably Wario Tackle, we should be good to go. I think that cleans up all the items I know how to reach. Because I don't think we can hit the other one because I don't have like infinite jump. From what I remember. So I'm not going to worry about that yet. Because we have to basically either come from the left and then come over there or get infinite jump. And either of those would let us get to there. There's also a green crystal door down here, but I don't think we have that yet, right? Yeah, we only have red and blue currently. Uh, and let's explore as far as we can before we die. And if we die, it doesn't matter. Since we'll be going back to this area anyway. So I like that we have two blue keys. Here, um... Hmm. I might explore the top floor one more time if I die. Well, when I die, not if I die. Oh, uh, the glide was too slow. Or too fast, I should say. So nothing new is unlocked here. Could get health ups. I don't think I want to unlock the plot yet. I'm kind of curious what Death Orb is, but if it's another one of those like temporary power ups, I kind of don't want it. Which is kind of the problem we saw earlier. Like invincibility up made sense. Lucky draw might give might be something good, but we saw like inner fire. Or maybe invincibility was only temporary. Maybe it's only that one life. I don't know. I, I feel very confused looking at these to see which one of these are temporary. Because we know it, we bought Inner Fire last time, and that was really, really strong. But the problem is that it only lasts until you die again. So it's like... I don't know. I, I don't feel like I need it for bosses anyway. But we're going to save up for the 1400. Because that, I think, is going to result in a lot of damage. Eventually, Meteor Rain is going to be how we just eat most bosses, I assume. And we already maxed out here. I could get a attack speed upgrade, which wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but I'm kind of curious about the new ability over attack speed increase. I think our attack speed is okay, as opposed to just being, like, slightly too slow. I want to check up here one more time. This is clearly like the final dungeon area. Alright, just making sure there was nothing in the blood pool. I couldn't remember if I tried going there or not yet. Hmm. Let's re-remember what stopped me from progressing over here. Making sure there's nothing hidden behind the columns, which would be very rude. Well, this should update because I killed the boss. Maybe just one more boss then. We were gliding. <laughs> right, chat? We. Alright, so nothing to do here. Very ominous, but nothing we could do there either. Uh, so let's go back to the mechanism too. So it looks like we're about halfway through the game. I don't know if there's a difference between 100%ing the game or not with items and map. But for now, we'll proceed. Okay, let's try going this way. 
I was so scared that was gonna ricochet off the wall. You have no idea. Oh, well, we can re-angle it. Oh, that's cute. I don't like that at all. Man, these guys are tanky. Right, chat? What? Wow, that was like nine hits? Kind of insane. But something tells me we're gonna be skipping a lot of enemy kills for a while until we get stronger weapons. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Oh, hello, Thwomp. So I can't hurt the ghosts. Huh. That's kind of an awful gimmick, right, chat? Um, how do I get through this? Does he go high enough? Oh, he barely does. Let's avoid the thwomp. So now we're in the Mega Man classic magic blocks. Okay. We unlocked another way to get down here. We still need a silver key. That ghost is in such an annoying spot, chat. Oh my gosh, can't even begin to tell you how annoyed I am where it is. There we go. Legally distinct plump, exactly. That opened one of the columns. I like I'm hunting you down if you hit him. This is horrible. Hold on, we're resetting this ghost. The heck is that? Oh, he still goes that way either way. Oh, man. Astalon. Am I really going to have to wait for this? He's in such a bad spot. <laughs> right? Like, it's just going to elevator me into him. I don't really have anywhere to go. Wow. Still in a really bad spot. I might have to just damage boost through this, to be honest with you. This ghost is, like, in a hilariously terrible spot. Yeah, I don't... I think I'm just gonna damage boost through the ghost, to be real with you. If they kill me, they kill me at this point. That is just way too long to wait for them to not be in the way of the platform. Okay, let's go this way. There's a silver key. Goodbye, Navi. Oh, there's ceiling spikes. Cute. What does this guy have to say, if anything? Corpse holds a note. There is a powerful spell that can banish all the horrible ghosts and spirits from our world, but that it is hidden behind a false wall in a room full of crosses. Hmm, I recall seeing a room like that. Oh, no. Oh no, chat. Do you even remember where that is? I want to say it's in here somewhere. It has to be somewhere in the middle of the map right here. I don't think it could be any of these rooms. Uh, okay. So I did miss something, apparently. That's unfortunate. We did get a key, though. Yeah, there was... Remember, I was hitting torches earlier. I'm assuming it wants me to go to the torch room. Okay, at least gliding out of there is easy. Thank you, longer iframes. Oh, I missed the jump because I was trying to dodge the spike of the bomb. Brutal. You know what, since he made me waste time, I might as well just kill him. Have him throw this way over here. Chuck your bomb. Idiot. Checkmate, chat. Jumped a little too early there. Scared myself. <laughs> pew, 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 right, chat? Well, at least we can see there's an upgrade here. Come on, mid-boss. Come back to us. 
Look at them walking in perfect unison. We should be jealous of their uh, performance. There we go. All right, fortunately, at least I got strength up, so this should be a little quick. Oh, we actually unlocked this. Is this health up? Five? Is it five health? It is five health. Okay. So question, is that weird tile actually a false wall? No. I gotta remember to also hold down because sometimes there might be things I could go through. There's Evil Thwomp. I'm assuming I can't ride Evil Thwomp. I still don't know what this bug does, if anything. Other than block ladders. I might as well just kill it. It seems to be worth a decent amount of souls. I assume everything is a false wall. Kind of. There's at least like a visual indicator for it, and I'm sure later on we're gonna get an item that tells me what's missing. Hold on chat, we're farming this for 1400. So if I happen to die, I could get the other power up. <laughs> Listen chat. <laughs> I am not above farming this particular enemy. It seems to be worth a decent amount. So now we can afford our next ability. But thank you, random spider thing. I might just keep killing you until I have no reason not to. <laughs> right, chat? Like, okay. I want to see if we can get the sword icon on him. Is there a way to tell? We got most of these. They killed like 23? That's crazy. Only 12 of those. That's not too bad. Azer we almost killed. I didn't see the red enemy unless it's like really high on the list. Oh, does the red enemy... Oh, there it is. 19! Oh, I don't know about that. that. That's a little excessive. I don't know about that. Like, listen, I need some meter, but I don't need meter that badly. We'll probably come across a few of these other guys. Hopefully there's going to be a room with like three of them or multiple fairies. And we're now at 1500, which is good. So there's a blue key above me, a silver key to go downwards, which I think I want to do because that'll let me get to the other secret. So yeah, let's probably go down now. Okay. Now we could go this way. I got bad news for this mini boss. He's about to become a check mark in our completion book. Alright, champ. GG. Hmm. So there's probably a secret I could do to get the hidden thing that I mentioned earlier. Fortunately, we're already the mage. Nice try, game. I'm not backtracking. <laughs> right, chat? Nice try. Still playing the mage this time. There's another key. Oh, it's a blue key. Oh, I like the... F oh, it is the Phantos. I was going to say, am I getting... <laughs> or it's a boo. Excuse me, not a Phantos. Cute. Can I get them a little closer to bait them? Oh, they, they're damageable when they're not moving? Oh, that's unfortunate for them. All right, chat, we're gonna take those easy kills. Uh. Okay, we are definitely getting an ability to jump upwards. Path exists under the grinning face with lifeless eyes. I guess these are hints as to where some hidden passages are. Which is not great, because I'm not really great at riddles, <laughs> to be honest with you. Riddle's not my strong point, either. So there's two hidden places we need to go back to. One, I think, was in the blue area. Nice. Those were easy to get. For now, we'll proceed forward. Oh, look at that, chat. We needed the mage. Who would have seen it coming, chat? We needed to play as the mage. 
Can't reach it though from this side. Hmm. Ooh, this is awkward. Wait, where does this go? Hold on a second. This is not on the map, right? Oh no no no! It'll it, yeah. Oh, never mind. It is. It is. Okay. So clearly, I have to go through here. Get the key like that. I think we can all agree that one was pretty obvious. Like e even if you didn't see the ladder graphic, you're kind of like, "Gee, what's this weird rock thing?" Yeah, I can expect inspect this goddess statue. Dot dot dots us. It kind of looks like the super anime woman we saw saw earlier. There's a golden statue in this tower. It harbors a powerful being within it. Do not stand before the statue for long. Do not look into its eyes. Note to self, look into statue, disregard advice. Oh, that's annoying that he blocked the shot on the fairy. That's fine. We have a decent amount of defense on the mage now. So our mistakes don't really matter here. Poke. Poke. All right, chat. Poke. <laughs> Listen, I could do this all day. Listen. <laughs> we have an upward passage to go to. There's another silver key. Man, this enemy is so annoying. I'm taking the damage. It's just one of those things you just gotta go. We, we got better things to do. All this just to unlock a column. So I unlocked another shortcut. So I'm feeling pretty good at least. If I have to backtrack, I feel like this is not as awful to backtrack as the other place was. It's more the ghosts are really slow. Hmm. I see. See, I'm missing. Oh, it's another. Oh, it's another one of these. Okay, that's fine. Deal with you first, because I don't feel like doing puzzles while this is happening. Look square in the eye and establish dominance. Exactly. Um. something like oh, I don't think that'll quite work the way I wanted to I was gonna do this then I realized I was gonna leave the middle one open it is funny that I could kind of invert these though that should let me do this right yeah okay <laughs> we got there Oh, you could jump. Okay, you could jump when you get hit. Okay. There we go. That makes a difference. Well, look how angry he is. Look at him. He's dancing. <laughs> he he wants me, chat. Oh, we are definitely gliding over here. There's a green crystal that I don't have. Oh, you need the knight? Really? Come on. That sucks. So I can't make progress on the left because I'm not the knight. Joke's on you. I'm going this way, idiot. At least there's something I could do with the mage. We're not sure what this creature does. It doesn't take any damage from us. Okay, so we needed to play the mage. Okay. Oops, my bad. Okay, um, I don't think I could get out of this room without taking damage. I don't think it's possible. No, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, the bait? The bait was good. I am surprised that worked. I had, like, one small area to stand in. 
Damn, this thing's tanky. So it said there's a hidden passage or something in this room, right? Ow. Whatever, let's move forward. Bell acquired. Okay. What does the bell do? Venus bell. I can summon a... Oh, finally! Oh my gosh, chat, we can swap characters. Thank you. <laughs> right, chat? Finally! Oh. Thankfully, I didn't have to do any more dungeons without it, because that was painful. Yeah, now Yay! I can do this. So much better. Damn, this thing is tanky. I don't think I could kill it in time. Do this though. Yeah, thanks to his rapid attack speed, this should kill in time. Okay, I am so glad I did that rather than investigate anywhere else. Alright, so now getting other items should be so much easier. Oops. I think I had to take damage there. I'd really prefer to get by this ghost without taking damage. Now there's a path to the left and a path up here. Let's see what this does first. We worship the Titans. They are a group of beings, and each governs an aspect of what we know as reality. Now I needed Athena's bell no matter what here. Okay. Oh, she is just not doing damage. What's over here? Is this a campfire? I was gonna say, it, it felt like it kind of had to be. But now we don't need to use the campfire anymore, so that's good. But also kind of bad, because now we just invalidated an entire mechanic of the game. So I think at this point, we might die. It might be worth re-exploring the other areas now that we can swap. So we still can't go here. I don't have what I need to go here. We know there's something in this area I should be able to do something in. And we also don't know how to reach those two rooms, but that might also be the infinite jump thing that we don't have yet. Or I should say wall kick. It's probably going to end up being wall kick. All right, well, let's see how far we can get while we're here. That means I don't have to fight with Bow Girl unless I want to, which is good because I don't. Goodbye, fairy. Ooh, she just could barely not wall kick on that because her feet don't go high up enough. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, wait, nope. <laughs> the juke? The juke is real? I think I'll actually reach this boss. At least I. Oh, a little shy. I might be able to hit the switch without dying. I don't think that's like a super tall order. I might have to dash jump it. If I could kill this, this might open something for me. Because I can see there's a place to the upper right and a place in the bottom left. But either way, killing this flying enemy should be done at some point. Whatever. Oh, can she not wall kick off of that? Oh, she can. We're just timing it wrong. Player fault. Yes, yeah, so we can't damage that thing at all. So it's gonna bounce down and then up. Hopefully this will kill it. Oh, it's like just out of range. Painful chat. Oh, it moves faster when it sees you. Okay. Oh, I didn't clear it with the jump. That sucks. That's all I definitely jumped. That's just kind of unfortunate. All right, let's get an upgrade.
Let's see if this is any good. Yeah, he was fast, and then it was like, yeah, I clipped my foot. So I guess... So now we have Reflect and Rapid Slices. So now if we go back through here... Double check we didn't miss something easy. If I die here, it doesn't matter. We're just re-exploring. Because there's this area I didn't know how to go through yet. We can afford to take damage. I don't think this matters at all. So we hit those. I had to... I think I had to hit this earlier. Because remember, we hit the... I think there was, like, one we couldn't reach. I didn't know how to reach it. But maybe now that I can swap characters, that would explain how I'm supposed to hit it. Oops. Platforming fail. So I think we get one more defense up on the uh, mage, and I think I'm good, honestly. I felt like I got pretty far with him. The difference of taking 9 damage versus 7 kind of matters. You only have 40 health. Where was that other door? Because we saw a hallway that was lighting up when we broke them. I think it was over here. I just don't remember which one we didn't do. Yeah, we cleared those. The switch that's there. It didn't involve coming through here, but I could try going around real quick. Thank you, Rapid Slices. Yeah, see, there's the room we couldn't go through to the upper left. It was partially hidden by the UI, which is rude. Yeah, the ability to now quick swap is like, oh, what a relief, chat. You have no idea. Really bonked my head. That's so sad. That led us here. If I want to, I could take the warp to go back here. So it's not over here. Where was the thing? Because remember, those little faces on the columns we had to hit earlier, which was hard to do because we didn't have enough height. But now we have glide and we also have the ability to swap, which means we should be able to... There we go. We should be able to take the places they couldn't go before. Nothing over there. I'm gonna hold down- I was gonna say, I'm gonna hold down there in case there was a ladder. I'm gonna hold up in case there's a ladder we can't see. Okay. Right, so we cleared this area before. Now much easier to do with this. I don't have to do that platforming. Huh? Oh, wow, look how much damage that's doing! So one shot of 12 is now doing, like, literally double damage? Oh. Right, chat? Wait a minute, that's kind of busted? Man, Mage OP. Yeah, look at that. That's... That's not fair. That's actually not fair. That is such a big damage increase. Well, good thing we started improving him, right, chat? I mean, look at that. He's two-shotting them. What a monster. I don't think there was anything else we need to do there either. So we hit those. Found this. So black armor heals when submerged in blood, whatever that means. Assuming it's a character. So now we just have like a godly ridiculous character. What a what a good thing. I mean, look at that. I'm two-shotting them. Holy, what a character improvement. <laughs> right, chat? I'm telling you, Bow Girl looking more and more obsolete every time we get another upgrade. She really needs to get some. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, what's in here? Did I go this way with her? Oh, so this is the room. Okay, so this is the room I was looking for. Okay. And it.
Is this for the mage? <laughs> okay, chat. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. Just give him every. Why just? Just give him every ability. So we did. We did hit the last one then. So now I can kill ghosts. The thing I was just complaining about. Man, this character is actually just unfair now. So once he just gets a little more defense and attack speed, I think it's just over. I don't even think I need to attack speed increase him. I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah, that multi-hit is so disgusting. That's so much stronger with, than what the knight has. No, Orb Friend doesn't do anything yet. I think we need to find um, Totally Not Us from the future to get another upgrade. You know, Totally Not Us TM. <laughs> oh, oops. Platform fail. Oh, man. I wish I had this at the beginning of the game. I mean, it makes sense that you don't have it on your very first dungeon, I guess. Yeah, this is like such a quality of life to just not have to play as Bow Girl. <laughs> Real with you? I mean, look at that. What two shot? So I wonder how much that skills with our strength. Like if the if the multi hit starts doing like five damage, if we tick up enough strength, or if it's always four. I mean, if it's always four, I'm not even upset at that. I just want to know. We'll we'll find out over time. So, wait, what stops you from going this way? Do I just die? I do just die, okay. That answers that question. I was curious if it was a secret passageway. It was, it was a secret passageway straight to hell. Although I love our orb total. Calculated. Yeah, I was curious. I mean, there could be something over there I didn't find, but... Okay, so we got the Banish spell. So there's something we could go up here. I want to try teleporting to one of the other places. And then we'll probably proceed with going a little further. So Banish spell making that other dungeon less annoying. Probably a good pickup to go back for. I don't quite get the eye hint it told me, because I don't... I mean, I saw a room, but there's not much I could really do with it yet. Unless I could kill the ghost, then maybe something happens there. It says there's something I could do to the left of here. Really? Where can I go left? I don't see any hidden passageways. Oops. Let's see if there's something here. Hmm. I mean, is chat seeing anything immediately obvious I can jump through? Right? Because there's a room here. Unless it unless I like fall down here and then fall here. I wasn't really seeing a hidden passageway. I mean there was the really awkward place to jump in the upper left, but like I don't the wall doesn't look any different. Because normally if there's a hidden passageway, we see like little cracks and stuff like that there. Like maybe I can make this jump? Oh, it won't let me swap to glide midair. I was curious if I could swap to glide midair, because then I think I could make that jump easy. Avisham says blind. I don't see anything on the left side. Unless the pass- Oh, unless this is fake. Okay, that's fake. Maybe that's what it meant by the statue hint earlier? Oh, this is repulsive. It pooped a key at me. Looking for a campfire? Sometimes a candle will show you the way. A weird hint. Alright, maybe that's what it meant by the hidden passageway thing? I don't know. That's fine. Alright, so we got that out of the way. So now I have three blue keys and one silver. Um... Is there anything else I needed to get? There's a thing in the middle. I'm not sure how to reach yet. We can't get this one yet unless we come from over here. So we might... When we beat this boss, I might be able to go back for this one. 
I don't think I could get this item because we don't have wall jump. So I think the goal is to just try to find wall jump. And then we're going to come back for these other things. I don't think this one needs it. We might need the shoulder tackle. Yeah, that one needs shoulder tackle. Yeah, now that we unlock this other ability, which is way better than the other upgrades I would just like to state, uh, I think the game is mostly over in terms of difficulty of normal travel. So I could just go pew pew and they just die instantly. Yeah, that is so much faster to kill him. Holy. He died in three shots. Kind of crazy how much of a difference that made. Okay, so there's a place above me that I can't reach. Wall jump to do anything meaningful. Oh yeah, once- I, I think now we start pumping attack power, because look at this. Just actually delete them. I'm glad we farmed a little bit of souls just for this chat. Like, honestly, what a big difference in clear. Okay, so... We have a lot of places we could go. Is there anything I couldn't reach because I couldn't swap? I remember, is there something locking that on the start where you just need to get money? Uh, it costs 1400 That's not something I could have gotten, like, immediately. Probably, like, right after the first boss I could have gotten it. Oh, that's right, I need infinite jump. So it, it was pretty early on. Like, I knew it was there, it's just we didn't get enough souls from other things, and I wanted defense. And now do I kill this thing outright is the question. Oh my gosh, chat, we killed this thing finally. Thank you. <laughs> chat, just thank you, I'm tired of the ghost. Oh, speaking of free kills. If we could get... Oh, we could pop the candles. Can I get this guy to chase after me? I hit him like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, this is now way easier. Just a actually three-shotting, unironically. Just done. Yeah, there is officially no point to playing other characters now. I would just like to state this. Yeah, just making sure there's no other secrets here. I don't see anything else. There's the red switch I couldn't do anything with. Uh, holding down in case there's a ladder trick. Doesn't feel like it. Okay. Yeah, so it feels like if I just save up all my orbs and don't lose them on the stupid upgrades that don't do anything if I die, uh, I could have had this way earlier. I could have even maybe had it before the second boss, without it being super unrealistic. Um... I'm gonna check over here real quick. Shoulder tackle. Alright, so I think all that is just to go over there. So let's just go back this way. Oops. That bomb scared me, I'm not gonna lie. your bomb over there. Oh, too soon. Yeah. I had a feeling it was going to be strong, so I just decided once I got basic attack increases for the other characters, in case it was bad, I have their defense ups at least. So if I have to play as the bow girl, I was like, I'll do it. But honestly, bow girl upgrades, not really. Did... Did I... Did I jump on that platform and I not move with the platform? Is that what I just witnessed? Chat, please correct me if I'm wrong. I landed on the platform and didn't go with the platform, right? Is that what just happened? I swear I just got physics. I guess I'll go... Do I want to go down? Yeah, I want to see what stops me from going downwards. We have Athena Bell now. <laughs> this one is special! Yeah, we have these things, which I should be able to just absolutely delete. Pop them like Castlevania candles. So what stopped me from going down here? All the way down, I mean.
Yeah, that damage is fast. Oh, the one way. Okay. Just trying to remember. So anyway, we now have like a hilarious number of souls, so I think the game is over in terms of normal navigation difficulty. And then I could just get defense up to stop stuff like that from happening if they're in awkward spots. Being able to do that is such a life changer. Okay, so there's a way to go over here. I have to go up first. I'm trying to remember how I got over to the left. So I can't go down. It says I can't enter the room next to me, which is confusing me. How did I go left from here? Like, I clearly took the ladder at some point. Back this way. Might be one of those dumb things where it's a hidden wall and it doesn't mark that I went there. Yeah, okay. Doesn't mark the teleporters. Man, oh man, chat. What if, what if we just got more strength? I'm really curious how much more damage this does. I, n I might not even need attack speed increase yet. Now we can actually kill him before he hits me, which is huge. We're back here. Brief cameos from other characters before we go back to uh, Oops All Mage. Man, Chad, if he gets... Because just think, his orb doesn't do anything yet, but you know it's going to. I'm going to wait a little bit. Make sure he's not, like, literally on top of me. So unfair. What a character chat. I was this thing. Can I now kill this creature, by the way? Oh, uh, yeah, this would have been free. I think chat would agree. If I could do that, this would have been free. Now we should be able to go down there, right? Yeah, there we go. Man, that multi-hit is just stupidly good. Wow. Oh yeah, I can kill those now. Where is this gonna put me? I'm looking to see what he's doing. I'm down here again. Okay, there we go. There we go. Where is this put me? Oh, that is so rude! <laughs> Is there any indicator that was where it was going to put me? I guess it kind of makes sense to do that. But holy, that scared me. It like flashed for like a brief second. Holy. I don't like that at all. Is it going to start me on the right or the left? I'm going to hold left. Okay. Oh, you don't have a note. Well, we have a bonus key, I guess. Okay. What <laughs> is this? Oh! Platform jank. There we go. Well, we killed enough flesh walls, I guess. Cool. Having this unlock will save some time, I think. And I could do this. Perfect. Poor flesh wall. Look at it vibrate. So now we have a hilarious amount of souls. So if I want to get an upgrade, it should be pretty easy. I'm gonna switch very briefly to her for the wall jump and then just immediately swap out. There seems to be something I could reach over here. Let's jump up here. I got another key. Huh. There is a lot connecting this, so if I come down the ladder, I can go make a shortcut to the room I couldn't enter before. Okay. So the goal is to come from the top. 
I under I understand this room briefly. <laughs> the ghost is like facing me, and I'm like, no. Nice try, though. Just does so much damage. That should be a save point to our left. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's not even a save point. It's even better than a save point, chat. It's a warp. You ready for the soul blocks? I mean, maybe I just go visit the apex right now. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna die anytime soon, so might as well just go here. Let's see if we got any other BS abilities. I can drain my health to kill bosses quickly if I want to with the meteor. I don't know if I'm gonna bother with that until the final boss. Because I'm worried that it'll just literally deplete all challenge from the game, but let's be honest. This current ability is so sick. Let's see. So we basically got- oh. Oh wait, I could just buy the attack speed increase right now? Chat. There we go. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna go smoke the, uh, the mini bosses, chat. Just a small upgrade. Just a, like a teeny one. Like, I could get these, but why? I don't care. I'm not using these characters again. There we go. So just a little bit of a damage boost. Yeah, just, just get a casual plus five in damage. When your damage is only 12 at the moment. It's all fine. Anyway, back to the Hall of Phantoms. So now we just increase our defense to survive moving around the place so that we don't bother with other character upgrades. Unless the game forces us. <gasps> Ooh, it does improve the rapid damage over time. So it's doing five now instead of four, chat. Disgusting. So we know we have to go down here to get some secrets, so we should go this way. So good, and we know this is a fake floor. I like how that one has... Oh, maybe that's what it meant by the eyes. Maybe it meant that room. Also, how do you reach the thing in the middle here? Or is that just aesthetics? Maybe aesthetics. So now we get more health. Only a plus two. That kind of sucks. Let's unlock a shortcut. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, we're now just... We're now doing, instead of 4 damage times 3, we're doing 5 damage times 3. So we did really bump our damage up hilariously high. The most things are one-shottable now for us. Yeah, like that. Like, they just honestly die to the rapid damage. Yeah, two-shotting them. Okay. What can I do in this room? Can I do anything? I have to come up from the other side. Right, I just, I just kind of feel bad for them. They're just getting absolutely smoked. The enemies are in an awkward position here, though. It'd be better to do this. Wow. Just wow, chat. So I think the sword guy still hits slightly faster, but the difference between them is so much smaller now, I don't think it matters. Wow, what a character. Yeah, they're actually just dying in two hits. What a difficulty lowering ability. I mean, I'll take it, chat, listen. What's this say? Lunarians built all sorts of all sorts or strange weapons. I think they mean of strange weapons, armor and machines. For some reason, we can't use their technology. It's usable only by the Lunarians. Okay. Guess we're getting some lore. Wow. 
What a damage difference, chat. We have a silver key to go left, which I probably will go. Although it seems like we're really far from a boss when we're looking at this, which is interesting. I want to kill him, but he's kind of messing around. He's just messing around. Um, so that up opens up this area. Yeah, definitely no regrets upgrading this character. And the fact that we can even make him stronger is kind of insane to me. So this would explain why they felt so tanky, Chad. I think everything was balanced around the mage and what damage you could do with him. The answer is all of it. What damage you can do, just all of it. So maybe in a couple more upgrades, he'll do two. Or he'll do six damage, I mean, with two increases of strength. Okay, we didn't unlock anything for killing everything there. We need Gorgon Eye Green to continue. Hmm. Oh, evil. Actually evil. I wonder if there's a secret over here. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I thought he would die. I wasn't that far off, to be honest. feel bad for them. So now this character has platforming abilities. Just the only thing I was sad about before. Can I make that? Of course. We really need to unlock a shortcut, because this is really far without a shortcut. Not that I'm worried about dying, I'm worried about future deaths. Okay, so that tells me we're going to unlock Rapid Kick to come back up here very soon. Which, let's all be honest, Bowgirl has just gotten absolutely screwed over the items. She has not gotten a single upgrade since we got her. We have like two Arius abilities and three Algus abilities. So unfair. Bowgirl got uh, absolutely gimped. <laughs> Where, where's her ability chat? Okay, so I could teleport over there. I think I need to do get this to open the column. Oh, that's where it put me. Interesting. So at this point, as long as we build up a little more defensively, we should be fine. Of the giant heart. Oh no, it's a piranha plant, or fire plant from Mario. Only it's shooting more diagonal than usual. Goodbye, giant heart. Ooh, if I can hit that other thing, I can open a shortcut there. As I said before, this is a really long way to go without unlocking another warp. So we're here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 rooms and counting and then we have to come back the 13 so maybe the warp ha maybe the warp is like here we have to be pretty close to it nice we got the minimum kills although with the way this is structured are we gonna get shoulder bash before we get wall kick <laughs> I love it making that weird little circle effect because it's hitting the uh, door. So I guess we can see what it looks like when it does that AoE death bonus. Speaking of which, yeah, that felt fair. So the knight is still pretty good. It's just that... Oh, what the heck is going on in here? He... I'm assuming he's not dead. Oh, where is he dead? Oh, oh, I mean, that was easy. Silver key. But what does that do for me? Hmm? I don't... What? There... But I don't... 
What? Where do I need to go that I haven't been? Was Oh, was I supposed to get, like, wall jump over here or something? Is that what happened? If so, that's kind of unfortunate because I did not get it. Um, we, we could wall jump here, wall jump here, wall jump here, maybe even wall jump here. So there's, once we get wall jump, there's at least four items we could pick up without needing to backtrack too crazily. But I don't think I can glide this distance, so what did it want me to do exactly? Expect. May the ones who possess the power of the griffin reach the end of their journey. May the weak hearted ones perish. Okay. I'm assuming we have to be coming up to... Right, but... Are you telling me I went all this way and I didn't have the item I needed to proceed? Oh no, chat. I missed an item. It's so sad. I think I was supposed to get it from down below. But I got here without needing it. That's kind of unfortunate. I think I just die, right? Like... Otherwise, I have to go back, like, one, two, three, four, five... Well, unless I could go left on this room. I guess I'll double-check before we, uh, just die outright. But I don't think there's much else I can do until we get this item. Because I can't go to the right and down, because I don't have the wall jump. We killed this mini-boss. We could potentially get one more defense upgrade for the protagonist. I couldn't go here, so I just- my only choice is if there's something to the left of me that I can reach now. Looks like I can. Maybe we're not out of choices yet. Also, since this is so far out of the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this for healing. I don't think I need it in any other scenario other than the one that we're specifically in. spikes appearing in the blood, too. They're, they just really want to make sure you die in this room. Hold on, she might have a use. We did it, chat. She's, <laughs> she has her time to shine when I don't feel like going across this gap. There we go. We did it. So we need the multi-jumps. Ooh, so if I could go left here, I could get another upgrade. I'm definitely going to take some healing here. How do I go over there, though? Doesn't seem like it's possible currently. Unless I can close one of the blocks off by hitting another switch. But we might even get yet another upgrade for the mage. As disgusting as that sentence sounds, I think it genuinely is about to happen. We got another silver key that I don't need still. Poor mini boss. Oh, but I don't know how to reach that. Hmm. I mean, I guess if I need to kill fairies for the other thing, we got that. Didn't see another way to go left of there, though. Hmm. I did somehow make it back to the warp. Honestly, I'm just I'm just kind of flabbergasted at just how much easier the game is now. It's like night and day. It's so much easier. So there's a thing that I can't reach there. There's I can't go left here because it requires green. I don't remember what stopped me from going up here. But at this point, I'm just looking for the item to advance the plot. Because we know that'll that'll be an upgrade to our nonsense murder blaster. Which, I mean, I guess I could double check to see if we could do anything about it. Does that mean if we start, if we start double hitting wall, we have the other ability? I think it's just beyond over. There's literally no reason to use another character aside from their special abilities. Their normal combat is just not worth it at this point. Hmm. How do we reach that? 
That's the only question. There's like a head on the far left. We can't seem to do anything about. Unless I have to kill the ghosts. Maybe then something will happen. I got nothing better to do, so I might as well just kill them to see. Because I don't see how, like, wall jump would help me reach this. It's like I need to somehow get rid of these blocks. We got time, chat. We might as well check for it. Right? Because it seems like it wants me to come from the right to the middle and then glide down to the left. But these blocks are in the way. But I didn't see anything that would make these not be in the way. Other than if something opens up upon killing. Or there's some other switch in some other room we haven't seen still. All of which is possible. Is that ghost gonna get squished? Oh no, it goes through it. <sighs> what an annoying bounce. Right, because it seems like... Okay, so if we can somehow get rid of these blocks, like... We would be able to wall kick up, then go up the ladder, then go left, and then glide across. Let's see if this unlocks anything. No. Hmm. There is that head over there, though. That's, like, the only hint. Hmm. Is there nothing else I can wall jump on? Hmm. We can't just wall climb up that way. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Although this is amusing, I'm not gonna lie. I like doing this. Hmm. I'm gonna kill these to go towards the kill counter. We need to kill more of them anyway. We need to kill a lot of those. That's kind of annoying. Killed one phantom. At least they only have to kill six. That's not too bad. Fairies, we came really close to capping. Good. So, I don't understand how to get to that. So what we're going to do for now is ignore it. I might have to green switch to get to it. I don't know. I can't imagine what other abilities are left that would help me reach that. Other than getting through blocks. So I can go downwards. There's an item on the in the campfire, but I don't think I could do anything with it. Build the wall of flesh. Get some souls. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's only like a handful of places I can go. I need to kill you for the completion thing. I'll kill you real quick. I can. Go to the right and down from here. Poor Templar. So this was the point in which... Oops. This was the point in which I could previously make a choice as to where to go. You couldn't go through there. That just leaves one other place. And if that's not it, then I'm gonna do a big question mark. Because we have several places we could go, but I can't reach them without something else. We activated that already. Kill you. Oh, we can kill those little specters now. Oh. No need. Yeah, there's just this room, which was weird and ominous. Well, that almost killed me. Well, not kill a kill, but it would have taken damage. But maybe I just kill the whites that are in this room? It gave me a hint as to one of these rooms, but I didn't fully understand what it wanted me to do. Okay, we killed at least one of these, so it's not as painful. So if, if we have to kill all the enemies, then we should be able to get the secret here now. Hmm. It feels like I should be able to do something here, but I'm not understanding. Because the music is quiet, like it's a secret room. Sounds like a heartbeat. Do I pop all the lights? No, I can't hit these. I 
Make sure I don't hit the Gorgon head. Okay. There might be something I have to do here, and I just don't get what to do. We had this, but I don't think I could reach the bell ladder. Hmm. Question mark, right, chat? We're a third of the way through the game, but... Question mark. Sorry, I was getting a message. Let me just... For that. Hmm. So where else could we go other than the one save to the right? Because I don't feel like any other spot really makes sense. So there has to be something simple to do. Hmm. I'm just looking at the full map. So we have kind of like the work here. An item I'm not sure how to reach. We have a blue key I didn't get to do. I mean, unless it wants me to go all the way back to the blue key. I kind of hope it doesn't. Unless... Oh, maybe. Actually, maybe that's it. Maybe I do have to go back all the way there. Okay, chat. I don't feel like walking there. Let's kill our character. <laughs> I see one possible path that it could be. So we're going to check the save room. And if that's not where it is, then uh, there's only literally one path left that I think I could go. We have we went every possible way but the path to the item, sadly, I think. It took me a little bit to realize. I think I could go down in one of the rooms. And once I'm able to do that, we should be good. And then we'll have super defense if I need to survive a boss attack. Or honestly, I might just start raising strength even more, so I don't need defense. We'll see. Getting to 4,000 souls doesn't seem that hard when we have this much damage. Oops. Let's check that one room one more time, and then we'll go back over here. Like the souls I missed last time. Pretty big upgrade. I think I go straight down, right? I think I do. So if this isn't it, I'm killing the character, chat. Just, just FYI, the character is just dead outright. I don't feel like making a long walk to go all the way back to the place I just was. Yeah, I can't reach that. Okay. Embrace death. Okay, so there's one other place I could go. And if that is that not it, I officially have no idea where to go, and I might have to look it up. But with this much, I should be able to... Ooh, attack speed increase again? Yes, please. There we go, chat. One more, one more strength up, max attack speed. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say, August just repeatedly dives into things and dies. Now he's attacking as fast as the Swordsman is, I think. We're gonna go back to the Hall of Phantoms, and maybe I was supposed to drop down the big corridor to... That seemed like a shortcut. Maybe that was actually where I was supposed to go. Oh, we're doing six damage a tick now, not even just four or five. Wow. What a massive damage increase, Chad, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's awkward. Alright, so let's go back to the other place I unlocked. Maybe that... W so I still don't understand how to reach this. Question mark. Something with the black statue, maybe. We'll come back to it later. Given how strong we are now, I don't know how much we really need more damage. Yeah, we're doing one more damage a shot. And our rapid damage, is instead of doing 15 damage, is now doing 18. So we way, way improved our damage. <laughs> The boss fight should go pretty quickly. I mean, just look at that. Boom. Oh, that's right. I can't go this way. Um, That's kind of annoying. So we're... Oh, I was supposed to go down and right. Whoops, my bad. Faded. At least that's easy enough to get through. 
kill these just to get the achievement. We gotta go where the bird is. Nice, killed one of those. Another achievement out of the way. We're gonna go down here. And honestly, we're doing so much. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're doing so much damage. I don't think there's much they can do. Too strong. You know what? I'll take my navigation through that ladder. I feel a little sad I'm not constantly dashing everywhere, but to be honest, it's like. And, and just don't put all the best abilities on the other character, <laughs> right, chat? Like, at the same time. Oops. I was holding up, but he still slipped off the ladder. That was awkward. Must have been because I was still holding jump or something. He was gliding instead of catching. Is his movement random in the room? I swear he's not behaving the same way again. Okay, so that's good. We're now good enough to kill him in one combo. So there's like one area over here. And then there's also right next to the save point. So if there's something here, I guess it would make sense. Oh, so this, so this was an item, but not what I was looking for. Three kings meant to discuss peace in times of war. They sent two birds to the east and west to spread the news, but four nights later, the war started and all three kings perished. Wait, we read this before. Wait, did they just repeat lore on us? We have definitely also read this previously, and we have not been here before. So we now became tankier. Okay, so this is not where we need to go, but we did get an upgrade, so it's kind of worth coming this way, I guess. The boss retry should be hilariously easy. I'm gonna go left. As long as I don't get bopped by that guy. Should be good. Damage is insane. We're gonna go to the right here. that. So, sort of glad we went back, because we did get an item. So, my question was, was there something I could have done here? I think there was. So, if I just drop down, maybe the thing to climb the wall is past the one way, like, kind of Super Metroid style, where it teaches you to bounce off of walls. Yeah, so now we're in a new area. Okay. Imagine we're gonna somehow... We'll jump our way all the way up, so I'm not going to worry about going left right now. Let's hope to the right is our goal. There we go. I had faith he was not going to aim that properly. Faith was real, chat. There we go. Is Bow Girl finally getting an upgrade? I'm assuming this is just infinite wall jump. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was like literally the only thing it could be, chat. We, we were out of options. There we go. So now she might see the light of day more than once. I still don't know how to quite reach that offhand. That's fine. Let's go this way first. we can make progress. So I think once we get access to another warp, we're gonna go back to some of the other places we saw before. As 
well as go around the world since we're there. But I think the right call is to just keep pumping our damage into the stratosphere so boss fights just go really quick. We'll take like a couple of defense upgrades, but like strength, we could get two upgrades for every one that we commit to. So I think we'll get more value out of strength just because of the fact that we could just kill them nearly instantly. Oh, the real ninja. Just died instantly. Okay, so we have multiple choice paths to take. Kill more of you. There we go. That that was faith that I would make that jump. I'm not gonna lie, Chad. We, oh, does it want me to go this way? She can't make that, right? No, it doesn't feel like she can. I mean, listen, we'll kill him with the ricochet. Don't you moonwalk on me. Get over here. He goes backwards. It doesn't hit him. It's so sad. At least he has some strength score, so it's not as slow. Hey chat, this could be much worse. <sighs> Trying to get him killed there. So close. I'm assuming this will unlock a passageway. We'll see though. Like one more, I think, to kill. Yeah. I did math. I mathed. I don't need to go that way. Um, okay. We're making progress, chat. Oh, that was rude. <laughs> it's like I went to jump for it. It was like, no, thou shall fall. It's like you're right. Ooh, too quick. So I feel like we're yeah. We have to be getting pretty close. So maybe we'll go like right, right, down, or like right, or like up, right, down, down, right, right, and then these are the warp and the save. Can't imagine there's too much left. Progress, indeed. Welcome, Piper. Hope you're doing well. What is all this? Oh, he's so lucky. I can't angle properly. There we go. I just do so much damage now. Look at that. Poor, poor mid-bosses. I mean, what could they even do? You know what? Let's free you, chat. I'll use the archer girl. did it. And then there's a ring, which suspiciously kind of looks like the red ring from Zelda. Is it going to reduce damage, or is she going to get new abilities? First lies upon this ring. The bride lies cold, filled with such strong love, she waits for the return of her husband, the rightful, true recipient of this ring. But he can never return, for his hands are stained with her blood. Okay... Dead Maiden's Ring. Okay. Close if the current room has a secret exit. Okay. Is 
Is she just gonna be chasing me the whole time? We can damage her. Yeah, I got bad news for her. It's gonna take a little while, but I think we can chip her out. <laughs> she just exploded. Like, it sounded like she deflated. It was like... <laughs> Oops. Anyway. That's what she gets. <laughs> Dead already? So I guess we'll leave the indicator. It's kind of funny that it's still visible for the chat for the most part. The ring just kind of pops out with the short text. Yeah, it's in the upper right. I guess this will help me find secrets, which is cool, I guess. Yeah, she just got absolutely bopped. Alright, so I'm looking for a way to go right or up. Which I know there should be. Once we do that, our death no longer matters. Because dying right now would actually waste a lot of time. You have to remember, chat, I, ba I basically only have this one shortcut here. Otherwise, I still have to come back all this way. Eventually, we'll go see where that other shortcut goes. But I prefer to do that after we get a warp. I still need to kill that guy like six more times. Yeah, I don't, we don't have to cross that bridge. That ninja is so rude, by the way. Jerk. Well, we need a silver key, which is good because I have like a million keys, right, chat? Yes! Yes! The shortcut! Oh, this is so good. Okay, so where do we go first? Um, We could go back to the other... So basically, all of these dots that we see currently, I could go back to. Including this one, which isn't marked. But I could go back to the original warp. So let's go back to this area. Let's go see what we can unlock. And then if we happen to die on the journey there, it no longer matters. We could just go straight to the boss whenever we're ready. So I drop down. I'm gonna go this way as part of a sh shortcut. Oh, oops, I passed it. Forgot it's not here, it's on the other side. My bad. If <laughs> we just hold down, if I remember correctly, there's just like a hidden thing. Yeah, that, that ladder is evil. That's definitely a, a good knowledge check. Now we're here. So if I go right up left, we should be able to, we should be able to get another item. Because I was wondering why we couldn't find anything. And then I'm like, wait a minute, maybe we just get wall jump. Now that we have it, I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Also, the fact that we can upgrade our defense twice. I'm feeling pretty good if I happen to die going into the boss fight. Feeling pretty good. So the question is, how does she jump in order to get this? Like this? Yeah, there we go. Up, up. Hoping for five health. I'll take a three. Oh. And then the spikes activate. How rude. Rude. Okay, so that's that secret out of the way. Was there another place I couldn't climb and do anything at? I think there was one. I think most of them could be reached by the this warp. Let's just go back to the warp. Use this to move a little faster back through this dungeon. Aw, look how low his damage seems compared to the god that is the mage. So sad, chat. Pop. What a beast. I still don't know how to activate those yet. Assuming something will do something to them at some point. Okay, so let's go to... Is it Mechanism 1 that I want to do, or Mechanism 2? Uh... I guess it doesn't matter which one I go. I think I need to go to the. I think it'd be easier from the next one. 
We can't get the one in the middle because I don't have the ability to break blocks. So I'm not going to revisit that. That that I actually remember we can't get to. But the other one, I don't think anything stops us. As long as I could go vertical, we should be able to get to this item and also get to here. So there should be two items we could check here. I think I just popped this candle just because I got nothing better to do. I'm not coming back this way. All right, chat, we already beat this boss, so I'm not gonna walk all this way for healing. It just gives me more tank ability. Let's see, I need to go to the right here, and then let's see if we can wall jump up to the other area. We still have a lot of keys. I still don't have a red key, which makes me wonder if they're, like, really hidden. And I won't get them until later. Or if it's just, like, they're only in rooms beyond a certain point in general. I is ultra dead. You can ultra dead. Yes, so I should be able to do this now. These guys. Wait for that guy to go up. There we go. Slow fall, disrespect him. Now, a secret area to go to. It's over here. Oh. You got me, mid boss. I guess. Ooh, there's- okay, that- that's turning into, like, a whole thing. I thought it was just gonna be one room. We're gonna come back there later. Show us missile. We'll come back there later. I wanna check this before we go too far. I really missed that. That's so sad. All that just for the key. But we can also go up? And far to the right. Oh, no, no, no. I think that to the right was the laser death gate. Okay, so I don't think I could go further to the right. But we did get another key. Which is big. I might as well as pop the candle. Because, again, I don't think I'm coming back this way ever. So I, I'm actually fairly tanky for checking out the boss. Since my full health, I think, is like 48 or something. Which, which is fine. I don't need it to be at exactly full to fight a boss. with our damage output, I don't know. I, I guess it just depends on how much I'm allowed to stack damage like that. How easy the boss fight is gonna be. Green eye required, huh? What the heck is this? Okay. Well, um... Okay. They're, oh, they're both ninjas for real. It's rude. This is a mess of teleporters, yeah. Might have to glide down to avoid something to get a hidden item. We might try that in a little bit. But I was not expecting a full-blown level, so both of these lead towards the boss room, right? Yeah, they both do. I just don't have the shoulder bash yet. Fortunately, we could kill the spirits, or else that'd be terrible. I'm assuming the upper left, where it doesn't seemingly go anywhere, is where the switch is to open the column. Also, what the heck is this? Oh, they die really easy. Okay. They're very threatening looking, but I'm kind of invincible to them, so whatever. Was that all just for a key? We did, did we literally just do all that for one key? I don't think that was worth it. I mean, I guess I have another blue key. Um... I mean, I'm, I'm still going to choose to kill the fairies in case I somehow survive this. So we could get, like, at least two damage upgrades and a defense upgrade with our current soul total. So I need to figure out how to get past these guys more easily.
Wow, this is turning into like a whole new area, right, Chad? The boss is right here, but like, look at where we are. Um, I don't think I want to touch the warp yet. We're going to acknowledge that that's there. What the heck is this? <laughs> where does this send me if I touch this? Okay. I can jump up this way. Okay. I cannot believe how many rooms are over here, chat. Like, like we, I was expecting like a secret room. Like we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we were just, we're just keep going. Oh boy. Well, we're on a map. Oh, what are you? you? Look fun. Expect. I just want. How do, oh, it went too fast. It said, how does one find Asalon in simple? You cannot. You were all marked to suffer and then die eventually. Oh, the Titan's Paradise is Asalon. Interesting. Alright, so he's Projectile McGee. I got bad news for him, though. Oh, I can't jump over it. Oh, he's a mini boss without any music. Interesting. So I still can't do anything with the gold boxes, which is definitely going to suck, chat, because I am not going to remember how to get to these gold boxes later. These better be marked on a map later, because I am not finding this again. Like, if you told me, like, later on, like, where was one of the gold boxes, I'd be like, I, I have no idea. Just be real with you. <laughs> I am definitely bullying them. We need to be able to jump up there. Okay. How do I do that? I guess I can wall jump with her higher. Come on, does that really not work? There we go. Oh, does it? Okay, at least we can do this. Okay, I was gonna say, we better be able to make it over here. I fell. Man, that is a really annoying to ju jump. Do I have to play as her to make that? So I'm going to wait for him to shoot something. Whatever. I mean, I'm not surprised I took damage because it forced me to play Bow Girl. It, I, I think nobody is surprised at that. I'm like, wait a minute, I actually have to deal with this? That's annoying. Uh, okay. Oh, that also really sucks. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. So all this for something. What is this? Warrior's Gauntlet. Is this another upgrade for not her? I'm just curious. <laughs> where's, where's it? <laughs> Chat, why would she get upgrades? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> this, the, this is the third Arius upgrade. She's gotten one. She has one upgrade this entire game. <laughs> that is, that feels so spiteful. <laughs> right, chat? Like, wow. Okay. So there was a flame. Is there a point to distinguish extinguishing flames? Was there somewhere I couldn't go that had flames? There was flames on, like, the top floor. Whatever. I think I'm dead here. Oh, wait, that was... That was a godly reaction to dodge that bomb. Okay, we're good. I think I'm dead here, because it requires not dying as her. Which I think is easier said than done. Unless... There we go. 
we did it. We have like one more place to explore. I still can't believe we had all this other stuff. I don't quite understand how to reach the other thing at all. I might not bother until much later. I'm still surprised how many souls we have though. I don't really want to unlock any of the other character abilities, to be honest with you. I don't mind unlocking a defense up. Alright, let's see if there's something for slow falling here. Also, I might as well pop this for HP. Right, is there something in here I should be aware of? Huh. Huh. You bounce when you hold jump? Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. Alright, so I gotta let go of jump. Because it bounces me if that happens. So I have to let go here. There we go. Evil. Okay, that that one was not fair because you can't see that that was there. That one was actually not fair. Like legitimately, you just couldn't see it. So I have to go like way further over. That puts me just back here. Interesting. Okay, so there's still another path that I can take later. That only leaves one more thing to check before I die. So I'd prefer not to die right now. But we could die immediately afterwards. I wasn't sure if I jumped too early. I did. Very slightly. Also, that feels like there should be something hidden here, but it says there's no hidden exits. So we did all of that chat. Oh, no. So we got another kill achievement. Nice. To check one more check, and then we can progress with the game, I think. The poor skeleton warrior. Oh, man, chat. We could get so much attack and defense right now on the mage. The only thing I didn't understand how to reach, as I said before, was the, uh, the upgrade for the mage. Because there wasn't any, like, immediately obvious thing I could do to jump up to it. So it's possible I need another movement ability, or I'm just not thinking of something. Because getting that for the mage, I think, would just... I mean, he's already broken, but, like, what if more broken? <laughs> right, chat? What if more? Might as well just kill these for souls. Yeah, I think a, a defense upgrade is 600 or so, and strength is 300 currently, to give you an idea. So we're looking like a massive upgrade could occur. There's no point to going into a boss room with 12 health, because he'll probably just two-hit me. I don't think I would really learn anything, per se. We know if we need to, we can level the warrior slightly. So he could be like our backup plan, in case we need him to deflect something. There we go. Definitely gonna save. We have not done that in a while. Yeah, it could be backloaded. I agree, FG. I'm not sure. If it's one of those things oh, speed of which, we need to do something in this room, right? So there is like a statue here. But we can't interact with it either. So maybe we do get another ability, because that's like another place where we saw the dark statue. Maybe there's another movement ability we don't have yet. Alright, so I don't know how to reach that yet. We should be able to wall jump up on this side, though. And again, if we die here, it doesn't matter, like, at all. We're at the warp, anyway. Attack plus one? Oh, chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Everybody got improved. I guess that's good if I have to play as them. Maybe I don't need to get an upgrade for them then. Wow, that just deletes them. Near near them. Unless it's the character I landed on got it. 
Maybe she got it? Yeah, she got it. Oh, so I could have collected that with the mage. I think that was a small mistake on my part, but whatever. I guess she got more damage. That was rude. Well, that was e equally rude. Bonk. Well, anyway, I think on the boss retry, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> I have extra health. Okay, well... Uh, can I go through this? No. Seeing there's kind of like a crack in the wall, I wasn't sure. So, we did all that just to get health and a small attack increase on a character that unfortunately doesn't benefit from it. Um, I guess we go downwards a little bit. Super Castlevania, yeah, definitely for sure. Dev G, you feel the inspiration. I do actually like the cat. Oh, the the wall stops us from going that way. Oh, oh, it did the thing where it doesn't move me with the platform. You all saw it again, chat. It was trying to cheat me and kill me with those spikes. So so far, I do like the castle. I'm just not a big fan of no healing, I guess, the, like the actual roguelike element. But I think everything else with the game is pretty fun. So now we can get this other key. So we're now at six keys, and there's a hidden passage here. Oh. What does Extinguishing Fire do here? Just nothing? That's all it does? Okay. Well, chat. Uh, Elgis, did you bring me any soul orbs? Uh, it's become a little tankier. More damage. More damage. There we go, chat. We're taking one less damage. We're doing two more per attack. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> feeling pretty good. I could get a health up now, I guess, if I wanted to. Sure, why not? Flex on him. There we go, chat. The flex. I don't think I need it, but we'll we'll go grab it. Twenty points of damage, chat. What a massive increase compared to the start of the session. Oh, this all came from here. Oh, I guess it makes sense. Wow, we haven't been here in an eternity. This room was kind of evil for the obvious reasons. Huh? What did the hint? Did we miss a hint that told us things? Oh, here's the here's the hint that I was saying before. We talked to it, and it we already knew about it. Silly game. So that's interesting, I guess. So, I guess we just go die? I guess we go die on something. Ooh, we got the extra kill. I'm gonna make sure we got the fly kills. Get a couple more there. Wow, that enemy is just getting actually deleted in real time. Alright, so let's go reset our health totals. We fought a boss here previously. We have a red key door we can't do anything with. If we kill the next boss, every one of these green doors should be accessible. So, let's go embrace death. I'll kill the eye thing in case we didn't kill enough of them. And or these sprites. Just got access or the ability to kill them recently. There we go. I'm sure he's confused why we're visiting him again. Let's see, what else can we unlock? Oh, we can unlock more plot. Uh, maybe later. Okay, in case we have to play as one of these other characters, I'm gonna improve the knight's damage a little bit. That way he should still be decent in terms of damage. Because he was actually good against the other bosses. I'll buy a health up, why not? Uh, so how much health am I up to now? 62, okay. Slightly higher than the 42 we started with earlier. Mage cast the lead. What's the difference between roguelike and roguelike? Yeah. It's kind of like... Hmm. That's a good question. 
I don't usually use both terms very commonly. Yeah, I would say it's more... I would say roguelike is more you can't get progression as you go through, because, like, the original game of Rogue doesn't have the ability to basically carry things over through playthroughs. Or, like, Rogue Light is more like what we're doing here, where we could die and then get upgrades to improve our future runs. So I'd consider something like Shirin the Wonder, for example, to be a Rogue Light, where Rogue Like would be literally you get as far as you can without getting any other kind of upgrades. I guess is the best way to describe it. I'm trying to think. Do we only have one more boss after this before the end of the game? But yeah, I've only explored less than 50% of the castle. That's kind of crazy when you think about it. There has to be like non Gorgon bosses left. Yeah, we're at 42% of the castle explored. Or, excuse me, not castle. Excuse me, that's Castlevania. Like, we didn't go anywhere in here, and we didn't go anywhere down here either, and we know there's a boss there. Interesting. Yeah, so this is more of a rogue light because I can get bonuses. Oh, you are so done. You do not want to mess with this. <laughs> just, just actually deleted chat. I could have beat him with 12 health. I actually could have beat him with 12 health. That is so sad. Get dumpstered. Idiot. <laughs> right, chat? Get dumpstered. Yeah, Rogue Legacy is a Rogue Light because you upgrade every time you die. Wow, that boss actually just got dumped all over. Ooh, listen to that music. Oh, it's just immune to damage. Well, needless to say, chat, uh, we're a little strong. Like the angry skeleton. Oh, it knocks it backwards so it can't reach us. <laughs> oh no, we are just the natural counter to everything. Wait a minute, his dash couldn't go anywhere. It was so sad. He just wanted to. He just wanted to touch us, Chad. We just said no. Oh, stupid fire. I think that fire did more damage to me than the boss. True story. We'll save the story for later. In case it's healing. How do I reach that other than just dropping down? Maybe I do have to just drop down. Yeah. Unfortunate. Gandalf OP, definitely. I apparently take scaling damage on spikes, which is annoying. So we did kill that, but not get any new Gorgon eyes, which is interesting. How does that work? Because we can't go down here. Well, unless there's something I could do here that I don't remember. Maybe there is something I could do right now? Hmm. I don't remember why I couldn't go here, chat. We'll have to check that out soon. There's key to the left. Switch here. Telling me there's a secret passage in this room. I think I see it in the upper right hand corner. So maybe I literally wall jump up there. So what is going to the left do for me? We have a silver key and six blue keys. I guess I could open this. That is an enemy. I didn't get a jump when I jumped off the ladder. That sucked. Again, I'm expecting more to die to uh, platforming than I am actual bosses at this point. 
Case in point when that boss got actually deleted. Um, can't reach that. Should be able to kill the heart on the right pretty easily. kind of annoying. I don't have a... So that one just snipes me. Got it. Yeah, that's much easier. There we go. That heart sniper was kind of annoying. That's new. It didn't do that before. So I wasn't ready for that. So we did all that, but then... Oh boy. We are so dying to this platforming chat. Yeah, I... I had a feeling. I missed the jump. That's fine. <laughs> platforming said no. Hmm. I will improve her defense by one, because I'm forced to play as her. But I don't care about her damage. I honestly don't know if I need to upgrade him anymore. He's kind of ridiculous. Does she have anything fun? Did a monster's 5% chance to crit? I don't really think any of this matters. Like, we, when we're done with the game, Shining Ray sounds really fun. Like, if we overgrind. And then, like, Arius will be very tanky, but I don't think this matters. Um, Probably just one defense up just to survive platforming. Yeah, let's continue forward. So, let's go double check why I couldn't go to the bottom right before we go through potentially a very difficult dungeon. So, what stopped us from going here? See how there's like two blue here? Curious. Let's take the warp. So, if we're forced to platform with her, at least we take one less damage. So I think the only thing I will level up on our allies is defense, if I'm forced to platform with them. Which the knight, I don't really think I have to at all, which is kind of nice. Oops. Thought I jumped off the platform. Hmm. A little further down. We're almost at the point where I can one-shot the beginner enemies. There's another one of those heads that we saw earlier, so I'm presuming we get some kind of ability to do with them. Right? Isn't it kind of weird? Like, it wants us to presumably open something up, so I don't know if I have to slap it with something later or what the deal is. We couldn't do this before. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Alright, chat. I see. So we did not do this before, so let's do this now. This is the Reaper's power. And they are fairly tanky, so I don't think we were supposed to go here right away. There we go, Chad. She's doing 26 a shot now. The attack plus one. She did it. <sighs> one. Game, please. There we go. Can I reach that? Barely not able to. That did open the other passageway. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Do 
You can play Bow Girl or kill both mid bosses like nearly instantly. I'm gonna switch to him for dashing. There we go, we did it. They did all that for how much health? Only one? Mmm. Chat. Mmm. I don't know about that. We need, we need something a little more, uh, a little juicier than just one health at this point. Even even then, that wasn't impressive. Man, he is super tanky. So there is like a boss way down here. So I'm thinking if we do that, that should make Ruins of Ash easier to go into the final area. No secret passageway here, so I think we're fine. I mean, I'm glad, even if we could have come here before getting Athena Bell, I'm glad we didn't. Because <laughs> it doesn't look like there's a lot of great places to swap. What? Oh, there's another platform there. I was wondering why I couldn't fall. Yeah, that's an easy secret passage to figure out. Was this another attack? If this is an attack increase, oh my gosh, please get on this character immediately. Right, chat? Absolutely. We will absolutely take those. Oh, there's a green one. Okay, now this was worth the journey. I think chat can agree. That is a big increase. Yeah, that is a big increase for us. Just doing 10% more damage for free. Like, I'll take that all day. There's a weird... snake thing. But we're gonna get even more souls. I don't want to do the campfire chat yet. So anyway, we're... Okay, this is looking a lot more worth it. So there's a hidden place somewhere. Why am I not seeing it? I'm holding down. I can't jump upwards here. There is that suspicious area to the left. I'm going to slowly go over there. Hmm. Why am I not seeing it? Can't go through there. Can't go down here. Does chat see it? <laughs> Can't go through there. Hmm. It says there's a hidden entrance here. I can't jump up there. I was thinking it was something like you just wall jump up here. I don't see anything like immediately obvious. I mean, I see like what looks like something in the bottom left, right? Like there's those bricks there, but I don't, I don't feel like there's a way to get there currently. But maybe I have to come from below and then come back up. Yeah, because there's nothing I could do up here. I can't jump up through here. Maybe there's a way to get here. I'll come back. Yeah, because there's no secret entrance here. Yeah, it feels like maybe I have to like jump up into the save room, or it's like technically it's a secret area. Ooh, listen to that music, Chad. You can tell we're getting further in the game, but it amps up. Aw, oh, I took damage. Whatever. I like the pile of skulls, the skull blocks. So we wouldn't have been Oh, I used up one of the keys. No, I used up one of the keys. I could have gone this way if I didn't use it up there earlier. Damn, that sucks. We have to go back. Is there's another entrance somewhere? Wait. Oh, he doesn't reach me. Alright, so where is the secret? There's the very suspicious waterfall. Don't see anything immediately obvious. I'm just gonna hold down. I'm gonna hold up. Unless it's like, yeah, I can jump through that. I think over here. Yeah, that's so sad. I would have much rather gone here than the other place. Not seeing anything obvious unless the UI is blocking it. 
Like, is this real? Yeah, it's real. Hmm. Where would this secret pass? Like, where would it be in this room? Unless it means this thing that I can't do anything with. Hmm. Interesting. Because, I mean, this seems like you would be able to destroy this, but I don't know if that's a secret, per se. I just thought that was part of the normal structure. Yeah, that's so sad. I have to go back. I was kind of ex interested in going this way instead, honestly. We're gonna have to find another silver key, which sucks. We have, like, a million blue keys, but no silvers. Um... Damn, we didn't unlock a single warp to get here, by the way, chat. So we went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 rooms just to get here. But because I don't have the silver key, I think I didn't unlock the warp. Kind of sucks. Mm. Unfortunate. So sad. I don't even know if it's worth... I mean, I imagine I would have to die... I just find it weird that it says there's a secret passageway here, because there's blocks like that in here that don't do anything. I'm gonna check one more time. Just to make sure I'm not, like, missing holding down on something. Plus, I could kill these Rector Souls. Unless there's a hidden switch here. Nope. Yeah, I'm not really seeing... I was gonna say, if it's in here, it's hidden really well. I didn't find anything doing this, for example. Song was worth it. I agree. Good song. Yeah, we went up here just to double check. Nope. Because we have seen hidden passageways in very annoying places before. I can't go through there. I'm assuming... Yeah, I can't go there. So if you fall through the ceiling to get to it, I really don't see it. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. It's not a silver key. It's a white key. Excuse me. Oh, well. We'll come back. It feels like it's related to this thing, but we can't interact with it. So maybe doing this will open a block below us or something. Question is, where do we go? So we went through here. Is there a fast place to die? Because I don't really want to walk 18 rooms just to get to a warp to then go to a lift. The fastest place I could die at. Is this it? You only do two damage. Oh wait, hold on. Boulder me? No, I want to be bouldered. So funny enough, she's now our savior, so I don't have to go through all the platforming again. Boulder only does 4 damage, really? I thought for sure that would be like 8. We're embracing death, chat. I'm not walking out of here, because as I said before, I have to go like all the way here, just to go here, just to go here, just to go up. It's not worth our time. Rest in peace. Sorry, bow girl. Your only purpose is making sure I could die faster at this point. Um, Most of our other increases are kind of high. Oh, interestingly, when I picked up the strength up, it didn't count towards the level ups. So I can feed all the strength ups to one character and it doesn't count towards the limit. Is that what I'm seeing? Because we were level 9 before. That means we just wasted one on Bogirl completely, unfortunately. But hey, it means we did get two on the primary character. So it says there is a secret here. Is there? Wait, oh, did it mean in this room? It, I swear it was flashing for a second. Okay. Um, Don't need to do anything there. Keep XP on death is nice. Yeah, if it made me collect my souls every time I died, I absolutely would not play this game. I would just like, I would get to it, it would happen, and I'd be like, yeah, we're done. <laughs> so don't, I don't have patience for those games. Especially since I'm death warping to save time. Really prefer not to do those kinds of games. 
over here. So we need to find another silver key so I could go further downwards. Hopefully that'll unlock something nice for us. Oh, that was almost bad. That time I jumped did not get eaten, so that's good. Go that thing. Gotta go this way for now. Platforming with her is going to be a nightmare. This is where I think the hard part is. It's not going to be the boss. It's surviving as her, so I can actually get to the boss. These enemies are not threatening to me. Trying to do her platforming? Ooh. I don't know about that. It feels like I am being punished for not raising her defense. I wasn't sure if he's going to turn around when I hit him, so I let him walk forward a little bit. Um, so we have another face thing that I can't interact with. Weird. So hopefully we get whatever that is soon. Also, I got stuck. just a lot to take in. What is this? Another place that needs a silver key. Come on, game. Be, be a little nicer, right, chat? I, you need to give me more silver keys for this to be valid. Also, that reminds me, there was the statue down here that attacking it did damage to us. I wonder if there's something we could have done there now. I just remembered there was a room. It was like one of these rooms. I no, oh, that's right. We Now we have the ability to jump to it, but we don't have the key to open it. There was like a room where if we attack the statue, we damage ourselves. We're gonna have to go back there at some point. Oh, he just wants to... Oh. Didn't want to give us a hug. He's shooting fireballs. Never mind. Wow. The fact that this character is not instantly killing them is blowing my mind, chat. That is really tanky. That means they have more health than the mid-bosses, by the way. Think about it. The mid-boss dies in five shots. He took like seven and a half. It was kind of crazy. So we're basically fighting mid-bosses now. Nice little boomerang he's got going there, I see. So we definitely want to get kills while we can, because they're worth a decent amount of souls. 30 a kill. There's a silver key I can't reach, which feels like the game is actually taunting us in real time. Like, oh, did you want to go to the catacombs? Mm -mm. Nice try, though. Alright, so reflecting the shot here is actually pretty effective. I like that the knight has a purpose here. Have you seen the invincible worms? They can be killed only by a ray of light. Oh, okay. So we have to pay for the 4,000 soul ability to then have the privilege to spend 500 souls to kill a worm. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> right, chat? We're gonna be like, how about no? <laughs> okay, so we did all this, but that doesn't really help me. I meant to jump. I did not jump again. See, it seems like the knight is now useful here. Which, again, his damage is still pretty good. I could afford to just kind of do this to chip him out. So I'm glad he's still somewhat decent. Oh, I can't jump this way? Oh, oh, uh, okay. I have to jump the other way.
Yeah, this damage is not too bad. Oh, I wasn't sure what he was doing. Oh, come on. Now you're just teasing me. Also, how is he still alive? Jeez. Okay. This is the Reaper's power. Holy. This place is terrible, chat. I'm not gonna lie. This, this is a very big difficulty spike. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet. That's how much damage they're doing. Like, the fact that I'm at, like, half of the power of the game and it takes, like, eight hits to kill. Kind of, kind of wacky. And with our super damage ability, too. Really. Fortunate. Okay, so I'm gonna go down. No, run, mid-boss, run! Right, chat? It's a trap! Mid-boss, no! Rest in peace, mid-boss. I came here for the key, chat. Listen, if we die, it no longer matters. I'd rather go to the other place. I do like that I'm finally getting choices as to where to go. So, like, I could continue doing this dungeon, or I could go back down and explore somewhere new. Oh, that this is evil. Ew. Oh, there we go. I just barely landed there. He didn't jump. Man. I'm dead. That's painful. When you when you bonk the ceiling and you don't get the jump, that is the worst feeling. As is falling off the ladder while holding jump, but you didn't jump. Okay, let's see. Might unlock some story. I think what we need to do with him is... Probably just increase his attack speed. And then I don't really care about the other characters at this point. And being able to reflect projectiles faster is good. Because we do need it to progress through some hallways. So I could see some value in this. Alright, so let's try going back that other way we just came from. Hopefully it does not want a second key or it's going to make me very sad. Because it, it does feel like it's much harder than the area I'm going to now. So I'm not going to say, like, I can't do it. But I feel like if we kill this thing, which is marked on the map, that should give us the, the green Gorgon Eye. And it looks like, as you can see, there's, like, one, two, three, four, five rooms we can't go to. Six rooms we can't go to. Whereas if we had done that with the Gorgon Eye, we should be fine. So I'm thinking that's why it felt, like, a little harder than it should be. Is because I haven't gotten, like, a, an entire boss kill's worth of experience yet. Which is fair, you know. Like, I can choose to challenge myself by going that way, but I would rather go this way instead, if I could get another upgrade or two. And that also might mean that we get another attack up, which would make the other area a bit easier. Ideally, though, we're gonna unlock a, uh... Checkpoint down here. A warp would be huge. Yeah, like, his damage is okay, so if I need to use him for the dashes, for example, I think it's fine. Since we did level him a bit earlier, it still feels like he's relevant here. And we can reflect that, that's nice. There's basically nothing the skeletons can do, they're just free points for us, which is good. It's always confusing when I land there and I don't fall. Like, what happened? 
There we go. So we need to take advantage of his movement abilities. Because he does feel somewhat fun to play. It's not like he's bad. There we go. Please don't be another silver key. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine the heartbreaker chat just immediately like, no, you need a red key. You just feel like, okay, I give up. <laughs> right, chat, it's over. There's another silver key. We might need that to progress the upper place, so we need to get to it eventually. Oh, that's evil. That slime is really hard to see in the water after it jumps. Evil. I'm assuming that drop of water damages me for whatever reason, so I'm avoiding it. Spore thing up there. These enemies are about as hard as the ones that were up there. Interesting. Alright, so I think the smart play would be to do this. Switch, opens a column. Please give us a teleport, please. Thank you. Right, chat? Big, big time save. Yeah, look, like, look how far we were from the other warp chat. Like, that was kind of the equivalent of, like, the circle of the moon long hallway, where you just, you just cross your fingers and hope you make it through. Okay, so now if we die, it doesn't matter. So let's go back. Oh, got hit by the ceiling, of course. Let's go get that silver key. And continue this dungeon, I think, for now. And again, this guy's defense is also pretty good, so if he takes some hits, it doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna kill the slimes, mostly for souls. Let's see, I could go downwards. Let's go left. We, we have six blue keys. I think it's a sign. We, we gotta use them to get something, right, chat? Oh. Why does it feel like attacking this is gonna kill me? Because it will. Huh? I have a two there. What did, what did that do? Is it like the Castlevania where my weapon is better? I, there's a hidden passageway somewhere in here, allegedly. Okay. Like, do I do more damage now, or...? The game will never tell you, it's weird, yeah. I'm sure there's not more than one secret way. Because it seems like all characters have it now. Question mark. I guess I just should see how much damage I do. Seems about the same. I nice shot. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know what that did. We just kind of got souls. I would say that one was kind of not worth it, unless the two does something special. Kind of hard to ascertain at the moment. Progress made. Don't have time for platforms. Get out of here. Okay, now I'm gonna rest. Let's see if we get another cutscene. Mushrooms at a big state. Not your typical camping meal, is it? That's incredible. How'd you make that? Oh, is it the same one again? I think it's the same one again. So they're already repeating cutscenes? Why? That's kind of unfortunate, right chat? Like, they're gonna talk about the mouse thing again. Huh. Disappointing. Apparently. Yeah, I mean, like, the number two is, like, when you acquire them in, like, the Castlevania and the Sega Genesis, it eventually leads to, like, the powered up whip. And I think even the NES Castlevania had a similar system. So, like, I think that's what it is, where we can improve our sub-weapons. 
slash our whip, depending on what it is, the game version. Ooh, so we have another... I love all the faces, but we have another blue door. Let's go deal with that. Again, we have not seen any other place to use these, so I might as well just use them. I don't know what tried attacking me, but uh, nice try. Okay, well, I'm gonna use another blue key. Interesting. Again, it really feels like I need to do something with these, but like... The only thing that seems to interact with it is her arrow. Maybe she gets an upgraded arrow at some point. I could basically jump in its mouth. <laughs> I like how the finger is like, here's your item. Go get it. It's right here. Okay. Are you going to do something terrible when I go to pick this up? You are. Okay. What did we even get? Nothing. I don't think we got an item. Okay. Oh, now we got something. And now, presumably, we could shoot the thing in the face. I mean, I was just saying, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're gonna get an arrow upgrade. That was very timely, I guess, for me to comment upon it. We'll read the description after I shoot the thing in the face. Okay, so now she has something that makes her more useful. But this is, like, so late in the game. I don't know. I mean, like, it's definitely better than what it was before. I still don't think it competes with the mage. Uh, so there were a couple of faces. Jesus, I said before. I'm really not going to remember where these faces are. I know there was one in this long passageway. I want to say it was there. I don't remember what was here. Now we could go this way. I don't know if we have to do that every time. Okay, it's permanent. So now we should be able to get the uh, nonsense BS upgrade for this character. What do you say, chat? I think we should get the nonsense BS upgrade for this character. How far are we from the warp? We're not that far. Oh, I actually just die. Okay. Next time we die, we're going for the super upgrade. Yeah, the big problem with the game is uh, backtracking, which is not like the end of the world, but it's like when it forces you to early on because you don't have the right character, it feels kind of bad. Well, that was for a blue key down there. Um, I guess I can go get that. Our, the amount of souls we're getting over time is getting really, really high. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I love landing on slimes I can't see. What a gimmick. I will say... This so far has some of the worst gimmicks in the areas. The absolute nonsense of putting an enemy in blue water and then the enemy itself is blue and it also goes behind it in a different layer is super rude. I don't appreciate that, I'm not gonna lie. Like here is fair, right? Cause I could see them and react to them. The other one, it's kind of just like landing on invisible spikes. Like gotcha. So we'll say that this area has been a little bit of a miss, mostly just due to the blue slimes. If they were still visible in the water, I felt like it would have been a bit more fair. But like, they're legitimately behind the river current, so like, how am I supposed to see this? Oh. Damn, that thing is tanky.
I mean, now it's kind of multi-hitting. She did get a lot better. The problem is, like, because I got it kind of midway through the game, she's not going to have all my attack buffs. So it's like, I'm still probably not going to level her. Like, it is useful, but... Unfortunate. Alright, so this should be another campfire. Or it's not. Hmm. Where's this going? Fill that real quick. Don't know how to progress through this room. Is it possible? I don't think it is. I can't reach this thing. Wall jump. Hmm. Weird. Be like a one way for later. Cause I don't think. It, yeah, because I can't reach the far right wall because of the way the gator is. Uh, I'm gonna choose not to heal for now. Should skip 110 XP, yeah. There's definitely like more XP in this area in general. Like the fact that I'm at 2000 already is kind of bonkers. That means I could get several damage increases. Oh, nice. Still don't know what those gold cubes are for. They are a tanky chat. Oh, wow. Pop a couple of those. Hit this one. Don't die to blue slime. I'm, ass I'm assuming blue slime is down here somewhere. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, listen. I'm holding that attack button. They better get off me. So we're getting closer to a boss. We're still... Not close enough, I think, to get a warp. A bit unfortunate. There's a blue door to the left. Uh. Also, I'm really glad we picked up that optional spell to kill these. Need another silver key? That is so rude. Okay, how far can I go without using the silver key? the question I have for myself. That means I have to somehow find yet another one somewhere. What the heck is this? Secret passageway. Assuming it's above us somewhere. Thou shall receive healing! <laughs> okay. I'll take these, because they seem like they're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Why not? That's like I'm mostly back at full. This still says there's another secret somewhere, which has me kind of curious. Not seeing like anything immediately obvious, so I'm just gonna leave. Oh, unless it's up this wall. No. I don't see how a secret would be relevant in here. But we did go upwards. Unless it was just to inform me I could jump upwards. I don't know. Hold on, chat. We're, we're just gonna go deal with this and go try to grab the other item. Thank you, Rapid Attack Fire. You should keep me safe from projectiles more often. Oh, that was not a good amount of time given. We're gonna hit that to open this. Land on this, get some health. Before we do that, let's- oh, slimes. 
Yeah, it's like I could just barely see them when they sometimes wiggle. Evil. Evil, evil slimes, chat. We're definitely just gonna go back and get the free health, because there's no reason not to. I'll take it slow. We got, platform we got platforming to deal with, and we're not anywhere near a warp. I'm gonna take my time. Nice. Oh. Ball kicked wrong. That's fun. We'll take it. How does she not do bonus damage to the giant eyeball when she shoots it? I feel like we get cheated there, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. I meant to swap and I forgot you can't swap in midair. That was unfortunate. What's this? Wisdom's leaking to the river from the veins. Change of the water before my eyes. This is, without a doubt, what's making our people sick. It's time to put an end to this. Is it? Hmm. Okay. We did all that just for a couple upgrades. That kind of sucks. How do I do this? Do I have to be as the knight to get across there? Because uh, I want to give him the attack up. I don't want to give it to the knight. Rude. Okay, so can't do anything here. I have a silver key I could use. Then I'll pretty much die as soon as I go to use it. She could all go to big head. You're right. Looks like it hurts being upgraded. I don't know what you mean by that, Calpishim. Do you mean me taking more damage on the spikes, or just in general that it was really annoying to get out of that room without taking damage? We're good here. Indeed. I don't think that was worth it. Because we have to, because uh, we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve rooms. I mean, I might as well as commit at this point and see what's over here. Oh, like the actual animation when you get the upgrades. Oh, that makes sense. I'm more like looking where I'm gonna jump. I don't look at the character most of the time. So I've unlocked a shortcut, maybe. Dang. Stupid slimes. Yeah, so presumably I might have to go to all the statues that hurt me and kill them in order to get like a super upgrade. I'm assuming that's what I have to do at some point. We meet again, awful slimes. I'm gonna do this just to get rid of these. These just kind of seem annoying. So I guess this is the purpose of the fire clearing, is to get this one health upgrade. Okay. Did it, I guess. We did it. Okay, so these slimes at least die pretty quickly. It's kind of nice. We're almost at 3,000 points, so I could get the other character special abilities if I want, but as I said before, I don't... I'd prefer not to at this point. I think I'm committing to the, the mage all the way through. And if we die, I'm gonna go figure out where his other upgrade was. I think it was this room. So we're definitely gonna go back that way now that we have the bow. But I'm not in a rush to go there until I get a warp or die. Like, I don't wanna go there early. I can avoid it. 
the enemy just walk off screen? I think they did. Oh, the poison right where I was standing was rude. Very rude. I was like looking on the right side to see what to do and not looking at where I was standing. Unfortunate. What was the point of this room? Oh, just to get another blue key? I guess. On the plus side, 3,000 is a lot of upgrades for the mage. If we want to make him essentially invincible, I think it'll happen. I think he's going to get some defense up so we could just face tank some of these things. So at this point, he, we need like a little bit of damage, but if he gets like another upgrade from just being a uh, god mage, I might not need like that much damage. So he might just literally do like 30 to 40% more damage in general. Can't hit it from this side. Um, what? Suddenly, Centaur, what are you doing here? This is a rogue galaxy. Got bad news for you, though. I seem to be a very hard counter to you. Are you gonna shoot a laser at me? What are you doing? Oh. Oof. How tanky is he? Look how many hits he's taken. What the heck is that? Holy. Infinite damage. Okay, yeah, we need a damage upgrade of some sort. Oh, oh, I found a hidden passageway. That was scary. Oh, the rock. Oh, I'm so dead. Unless. Okay, we did it. Oh, no. <laughs> that was rude. That was so rude. Get me out of here. Holy. What a terrible room. Wow, all that just to get dead ended. Kind of rough. Oh my gosh. End of the line. End of the line indeed. Jeez. I almost died there. I was like, flee. Where's the warp? <laughs> right, Jen, where's the, there, there's the boss. Oh my God, I went so long without a warp. Holy. Like, look how close these two were, chat. Like, look at that compared to this. Like, we still have not hit it. It presumably is like right here. It has to be, but it's so painful. There's so many spaces I have to go still. Holy. We're killing these if we can. On the plus side, when I inevitably die. I will have so many stat, up stat upgrades and other things. That is a face. Curiosity. And yeah, we can deflect those, but does it hurt them? No. Unfortunate. Oh man. Um, okay. Is there a secret switch here? getting further from the exit. This is, this is brutal. I'm not gonna lie, this is a long stage chat. Oh, I got tapped by the projectile. That sucks. That is a long stage. Okay, let's go get the super upgrade. I think we could do it. It's just a little more. I'm kind of curious what this is, but not curious enough to get it right now. Uh, Defense. Defense. Attack. Attack. Okay. So now it should be much easier to get through. 
Yeah, I thought they were gonna put something hidden there, but apparently not. Okay, chat, let's go to whatever this one was called. I don't remember, Wall Phantoms. Or Hall of Phantoms, excuse me. So now we have way more health than when I went there the first time. And my damage is really, really, really high. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I can't jump up there. Oops. It's okay, we'll, we'll kill ourselves before we go further. If we kill the eyeball thing, we can start... Oh no, we don't need to do that. We need to do this. There we go. I was wondering how we were going to get through this earlier. I was like, has to be something we could shoot. Oh yeah, we're, we're face tanking, chat. We're going in. Okay. I totally not us. You again. You are still alive. Though with Epithemus' power, that was without a doubt. That is correct. However, as you know, my soul is bound to him. Might as well be dead. My boy. You must know one thing. Even if you pay your final debt to Epithemus. Or Epimetheus, excuse me. Your story does not end there. What are you saying? Centaur is only going to take 50 hits now, pretty much. <laughs> it's as I said, you're more important than you think. Tell me then, what is my path? Can I escape my fate? Tell me more, guide me. For now, I cannot. But in time, you will see for yourself. Come on, give us the Gradius upgrade. I feel like we're we're, we're trying to channel our, uh, what is it, boy in black? <laughs> Gotta get our bib in. But before I go... There we go. Vanished again. And this thing, it's alive? I've not seen a creature like this before. It doesn't seem to be very responsive. Just mimics my facial expressions. Strange. Oh no, there it is. It became the Gradius option I was hoping it would be. Okay, now we're good. As you know, his damage wasn't broken enough, chat. Listen. Fine, let's stand on spikes for a little bit. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Yeah. I guess I could try to climb... Back... I don't know. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> Listen, chat. There's one skull thing I can go to. I'm gonna try to go to it while I remember that it's there, but I don't remember where the other ones are at all. Other than there's one in, like, the upper right for no reason, which I'm not going to. As I said before, I kind of wish they marked that on the map, how they marked the other things. Like, there's a skull thing here, I think. One of these requires what we just got. But we'll see. Alright, we still got some time. I want to see if I can at least get to this boss, and we might take a break after that. Um... Yeah, I don't know if it matters what I do here. Really. Oops, I just fell. I tried doing the dash attack because I forgot that was a thing briefly. I'm going to blame that to being tired. Right, so let's go this way. If I don't have to death warp, I'm going to try not to. Pew, 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 pew. I guess I get strong enough to one-shot one day. Oh, that's right. I got over there by dash attacking, or dashing previously. I was trying to remember how I got here originally without the wall jump. But what's the point of this? Yeah, but what does this do? Or hidden switch? What was the point of this? Hello? Did we? Did I grab something last time I was here and I just forgot? Maybe I did. I mean, I, I guess I got it, question mark. Yeah, there might have been a key there or something before. What? What 
can this mean? Let's go this way. Okay, let's not death abuse. My health is still pretty good. I didn't get the dash. Oh, that messed me up so much. I pressed dash, but it, I must have been just barely in the air when that happened. That sucks. Whoa, momentum. Yeah, there's this other thing. So there's two of these, which again, I'm not sure why they aren't marked on the map. I'm not going to do anything with them currently. I'm assuming I need to kill like all of them. This, so it'll go like two, three, and then four Castlevania side. Like if you're going through Castlevania-esque things, there should be another one. And then presumably if I kill all of them, I'll get some kind of super upgrade. Like, in one life, that is, specifically. Hmm. Stupid slimes. Get out of here. Oh boy, chat. So we gotta somehow survive all this. It's gonna be interesting. Damage. That's so sad. But hey. At least it's not that much damage. I think we can't do anything too crazy here. Right. We could go to the left, but there's no point. Alright, so we've got good health. I take two less damage a hit. I can tank a little better. I have to survive this nonsense room. I think we're gonna go this way. There we go. Not gonna pop that candle yet. I think only if I die again will I consider popping it. Take those, get some souls. Our damage is still pretty good. We have like a little extra damage for vertical attacks. But grounded enemies like that are still gonna be a problem for us. So sadly, our add-on is a little too above us. So many souls. Okay. Let's try to go left, left, down, right, down, right. No. Can't go that way. Two lefts, down, right, down, double left, down, right. Down, 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 I think. Maybe that'll take us there. Mm, I'm not gonna hit that. Damn, I told that thing to shut up. So we don't have to do any of the things to unlock this, at least. Definitely gonna save. We made a lot of progress. So now we're here. We know going to the right doesn't do anything for us. We might revisit later. When we're, like, truly done with the game, we might re-explore all the rooms. But for now, we don't need them. Give me a little jump scare there. I was like, get out of here. I knew there were slimes in there. I was like, I I definitely do not want to mess with the slimes. Stupid way to take damage. There was a path upwards that I didn't understand how to get to. I'm assuming like it would connect these two somehow, but I'm not really gonna worry about that right now. Other than I can't wall jump up there. Um go down this way. Damage you, then I can go down a little further. Oh, he actually hit us that time. Last time we stopped him from charging us. That spike is so rude. That should just be open by default so I know it's there, rather than fall, realize it's gonna open and it punish me. That just feels kind of, that feels kind of unfair. Okay, there we go. 
We have like so many rooms to go still. Kinda rough. At least this time I won't walk into the green shots. Should be beneath them. Let's see, what's over here? Oh, I was one room from a warp. That's kind of painful. Oh well, at least we got it this time. That would explain how we get over there, because I was like, how are we going to get over there when we're going away from the thing that we need to go to? Oh, look at that, chat. There's a silver key that I can't do anything with because we don't have another silver key. Wow. We came all this way for nothing again because we got silver keyed. Are you serious? Is there really not another silver key I can get in this entire place? Is it somewhere up in this no nonsense bill? Man... Right, chat? Like, come on. We're we're one key from fighting the boss. That is so painful. I can't free him, sadly. I'm, well, I mean, I guess I can maybe hit him with the reflex here. Well, it actually does good damage now. There you go. This is for you, chat. Why would I ever use a blue key on this room? Honest question. That feeling when you reflect, but you still take damage. 10 out of 10, right chat? 10 out of 10? <laughs> that felt fair. <laughs> it's like... Well, that sucks. So we did all that for nothing, officially. Unless this is a silver key, I can't progress. Hmm. So unfortunate. Like... You know this would have just led to the warp. That's the worst part. It was literally going to go up one room, save, warp, boss. Actually nonsense. All because I... Well, no, I used the silver key to get the silver key. Yeah, I really don't like that at all, for sure. Guess we'll go back to the left. See if we can get something interesting here. Also, there are just way too many slimes here. Is the other slime glitch? Hello? Uh-oh, Chad. Did we find a bug? Look at him. He's trying his best, I guess. Alright, so if this is not a silver key, I have to go all the way out. Which, I am not gonna lie, we will definitely mention that in the review. This one is special. If this does not immediately lead me to a silver key... Because, I mean, like, where was the last time I had a chance to get a key? Like, way up here? Ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, this is promising. I can at least unlock a shortcut. You know what? It can't be, because I think it's a health upgrade. I think we saw the other side of this already. That really sucks. Unfortunate. Yeah, that should not have been a silver key, to be honest. If it was a blue key, I'd be like, whatever. Like a million ways to get those. By mushroom. On the plus side. Yeah, now it now at least we unlocked a shortcut, I guess. I don't think this was worth it though. Unless I want to just farm flines, then I guess that's kind of fast. But nah, I think we should be able to beat a boss with this much damage. The question is, do I just death warp? I mean, like, the other thing is, like, so far away. Right, chat? Because I know I can't go here. I can't go here. I think we saw, like, maybe could do something if I came from the other warp side. I don't remember what stopped me from reaching the down, but there's nowhere else to go other than here, and even that is really far from where we are. I mean, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 rooms, versus like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 8. Well, it's about the same distance, I guess. The other one is definitely shorter compared to the fourth location. Oh, you can cut the boulders. That's funny. Hmm. 
Oh, come... Mm. Annoying. So we're probably going to get the shoulder tackle move from this area, based off of how that room is. Which doesn't honestly open up that much for us. There's like one thing we know of that can deal with that. On jump up. Unless there's like a sneaky way to do this. Kinda not really. Because that's the only other place I could see we could even potentially go. Otherwise, I have to try one other area. The magic doesn't cut it, but sword does. That's the same thing. Jeez, we're so far from that door. Rip door, chat. I don't know if there's anything else we could use the statue on, to be honest. I'm trying to think, and it's like, outside of that, I think there was just that one other statue that I recall offhand. We saw them more in the yellow area than anywhere else, which is fair, because it's further in the game. But I don't remember, like, any early areas that needed it. We got the one involved in the uh, Monster Eye. We'll call it Suezo. Oh, oh, I got stuck. That was weird. Maybe it was like mid jump. They kept catching the ladder or something. Unfortunate. Oh well. So, we still can't do anything with those gold boxes. I guess we could see if any other abilities have unlocked at the main shop at some point. Ouch. So, what was over here that stopped me from doing things? Let's double check. Then, after that. Oh, right. I didn't understand how to get up this wall. Which is kind of weird, because it feels like you should be able to do something, but I honestly don't see a way to do anything from here. So yeah, so unless this specific item is a silver key, I have to go all the way back to all the way up here. Like, this, I think we can now get, because we have the other bow. So at least I can say there's probably two items we can get with our new thing, but I think we just embrace death here, Chad. So hopefully we get, like, Titan Jump or something on one of the characters. Maybe the Knight will get it or something. Um, he can't get any upgrades. She's still super vulnerable. Um... That's Titan's ego. No location on a statue of the Prometheus in the tower. Okay, with Death Orb. Recover your Death Orb now and echo of your previous life. Wait, are you telling me I have to pay for the privilege of going back to where I died? Oh my gosh, don't do this to me, game. <laughs> There, so there is a so they did think about giving me a mechanic to not start here, but they're gonna make me pay each time I want to do it. Oh man, that's something. Oh, we can see there's a secret area there, I guess. Hmm. Okay, so where do I want to go? We can't go there. That requires tackle. I might as well as go to the top warp at this point, or I could go to the bottom. Let me try the bottom warp and try this item room real quick. And I, I might have to write down what this is, so I don't ask the question as to what this is later. So unfortunately, we are now not near a boss. I'm literally one key from go going to fight a boss. And the game was like, nah, we're not going to put it anywhere near you. Deal with it. On the plus side, I guess it's good that spikes scale with our health to deal damage. That way we could die basically immediately. I still don't understand what the secret is in this room. Because it's telling me there is one, but I like genuinely don't see it. Nor do I really understand where it could be. Like we tried 
jumping in here. I can't do anything up there. I'm so confused. There's nothing on the left side. We tried jumping through the upper right, the middle, the middle left. There's nothing to crouch down into that I found. Unless there's something on the other side of this I didn't find. No. Because otherwise, like, it can't possibly be in a downwards direction, because we don't need to do anything there. So I thought it would be, like, something in here, but... Yeah, like, there's kind of, like, this weird place I could jump behind this, but I can't seemingly do anything. So whatever. Probably the only room I might be missing something, but it's not immediately obvious to me. Um, so I gotta go up. Oh, did it need the... Oh, it, it overrode the fact we need the green door. That's why we can get through here. That's kind of unfortunate that it has the item indicator, but it forgot to put the indicator that we needed this. I don't feel bad now. I feel like they should have probably put both there, Chad, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's kind of weird that it doesn't allow for that indicator. Then I'm going to question it in the future, I think. Okay, at least I should be able to continue here. I didn't take that much damage. We might as well just keep going. Also, I don't know why the skulls fidget, but... I guess it's okay. Yeah, I thought there was, like, a hidden switch where the slime was, but, like, I tried jumping there. Unless I just got really unlucky and missed it. I didn't really find anything going that way. Yeah, that was a really... I don't agree with the slimes behind the water thing. I think so far that's been probably the biggest misstep for me today. I thought the other level was fine. And I like some of the stuff they've been introducing, but yeah, that slime stuff is BS. Where do you... Okay, so let's go to... I guess the top floor-ish. We're just looking for a silver key. We know we know there's a key. There is a silver key here. I remember it because I remember going, wow, what a tease. I cannot reach this, and I did not reach it. So if we really need to, I will go there, but I want to check these items first. What an absolute tease, Chad. Two silver keys I cannot reach. Certainly something. Ouch. What stopped me from getting the key on this side, though, is the question. I don't think anything. Okay, then we could go get this key. Yeah, there's definitely an- I'm gonna go get both silver keys, just in- just in case there is somehow another silver key between us and the, and the other boss. And then that'll be the final thing that we do. the other one that should be here you can also go back to this one at some point but i might honestly just only return this way once we get the, the green which should be after we do the other boss oh you can just like that it dropped an egg on me i think interesting clonk clonk It's interesting I could at least shoot these lasers back. So the knight still seems relevant, even though I've barely given him any upgrade. It ate my jump again. Is it one of those things where if I let this go with Reaper's jump power. and hold jump, it doesn't actually jump? Is that what's happening? 
Oh, that's weird. I don't think I can reach that. See, so yeah, if we die now, it doesn't really matter, because we've got to go back to a warp at some point. There's a path to the left. I don't think I went to at all. What was this way? That was almost extremely rude. Oh, no, no, no. I went this way before. I recognize the... This is the first time we met that weird slug thing. So what stopped me from getting the key from here? Oh... Uh, needed this. That makes sense. We'll eat a death at some point. I've taken enough damage that death warping just kind of makes sense now at some point. Oh yeah, there's another sil- wait, hold on. Is that like a silver key to get a silver key? Why does he have a tear blood behind him? I'm so lost. What? What? I'm assuming I have to do something with the sacrifice, so I definitely, definitely do not want to use the silver key here. Under, like, any circumstance do I want to use the silver key here. So that means this other one is probably also a silver key, because otherwise, don't I lock myself? No, I guess there's more I can do without using the silver key, so there's no way I want to use it here. It makes no sense. That's so more of a question of what do I do with this thing? This evil-looking altar. It takes a lot of damage... Is it- is it making them invincible? Is that why I can't hit him? I think so. Yes, that's what it was doing. Okay, that makes more sense to me now. But I still don't know how to get whatever the item is in this room. I don't see it anywhere. Oh wait, no, no, no. Is that it? Never mind. Answered my own question. Alright, so another key, but not a silver key. Chat. Embrace death. <laughs> we're, we're going back. Okay, so now we should be able to reach the other boss. And I should be able to get one more upgrade before the boss. Yeah, yeah, I haven't fulfilled my co contract, yada yada. Aw, oh, can't get an upgrade there. Is there anything else we're purchasing? I don't really want to get a death point at this point. But at least we got most of the secondary ones. As I'm assuming I pay souls to go back to where I died, which I kind of don't, to be honest. That makes more sense if I'm, like, exploring the upper area. Right now, it makes no sense to do. Jeez, Chad, look how many rooms I have to go through. <laughs> this is so terrible. Yeah, they definitely needed, like, a halfway point. Can we all agree? Like, look at this. I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, because I unlocked a shortcut. I have to go 22 rooms just to get to the next warp. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like... Either that or if, if there was another warp system, like, kind of, like, when I was going through here, if there had been, like, a warp here to shortcut back to here or something, and if I took this one, it would unlock this one kind of thing, that also would have been fine. But I feel like it needed a little something. That time I dodged the projectile. I did it, Chad. Yeah, we have quite a journey to go. Still don't know what those gold blocks are for, if they even do anything. No point to fighting them anymore. I think we're good enough. We just gotta get to the boss now. 
These are in my way, so killing them is fine. There we go. Okay, we're gonna just try to run without taking too much damage here. Gotta go left. Hopefully we do not need to switch to our archer mid-combat, because that will probably result in me dying. <laughs> right, chat, true story. I'm pretty sure if we have to swap to her, because I have to like double jump up to a platform and then repeat ad nauseum. That, this, the boss fight will not go well. I'm just declaring it. I'll be like, oh boy, please don't add platforming gimmicks to my boss fight. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, big head. Big head is uh, big not used. <laughs> Let's see. So I gotta go left, I think. I think I unlocked the shortcut. I'm not messing with these slimes. Listen, the stupid way to take damage. I'm gonna take my time here. There we go. I got stuck because I forgot that shooting kills some of your momentum. That was my fault. There we go. Going down here. Yeah, it makes sense if we get shoulder tackle, right? Because then we just leave the boss room. But that only really gives us one item, right? I don't think we've seen anything else where, like, I would genuinely get more items by going that way. Like, yes, I think there's a couple shortcuts in here that could be used, but no, I don't think this actually leads to new room either. It's kind of awkward. The only thing I'm not sure about was why we didn't go here. I'm sure there's a reason. Could be tackle blocks. Oops. Um... Oh no, I unlocked the shortcut here. Go through there. Just took a little bit of damage, that's not too bad. Limes, please. Game really wants to damage me, chat. just have to take the warp. So we unlocked a little bit of a shortcut, but it's still pretty dangerous given how many slimes there are. Look at this. What am I supposed to do with all this? Ooh. Barely dodged that, but we'll take it. Again, I'm most likely to die when I'm forced to swap into her. I will not deal, because we should just take a warp at this point. I don't see the point of using the blue key there. I mean, I could flex and use it, but... Wait. Why are there so many blue key usages here? What the heck is this? This looks like a key. Really? Really? You made me play with the white key and you put one right on the other side? Oh man, I'm so, I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. Why? Why? What was the point? What was the point of the key tax? It was right there. That's so rude. I know, that deserves a quadruple dots. That deserves all the dots. So I had to do that little journey because they decided to put a door in which it pays for itself if you go through so you wouldn't soft lock. I'm like, here's a better idea. Don't put a silver key there. Put a blue key there. Like a million of them. <laughs> like we're at six. <laughs> like you like you, you could make it something other than silver. Holy. Okay, right, so we unlocked the boss thing. We unlocked another boss thing. I don't know what Gorgon color I think we're gonna unlock. Guess we'll see. If this is the knight again, he's gonna get dumpstered. It's not. Okay. It's it's blue eyes. Gorgon dragon. Sense two Gorgons. Where's the other one hiding? We are two kindred souls in one temporal vessel. What? Is such a thing even possible? Oh, so he's just gonna flip between, like, happy and angry. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Behold! Oh, he's a, he's angry face right now.
He's getting actually destroyed. Oh, what the heck? Ah, I see. Chad, I think we can agree that was the easiest boss in the game. Just hands down, chat. Can we all agree? Boss got dumpstered. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't know what you were trying to do. You put platforming in my boss. I didn't I didn't like that, so die <laughs> in that order. There's a secret passageway. Yeah, rip boss. Boss actually just got destroyed. Okay. Where's the secret passageway? Oh, I think I see it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I like the castle design, but... Don't put hidden passageways behind the UI. That is so rude. Oh, our first red key. Interesting. Right, chat? Just rude. Okay. So now we can finally open the door that was here as a reminder. I know I know it's been a while. This, this place is huge. But there is a red key. At least I know where to go with that. There's no question. Okay. Oh no. There's a lot of these. And there's rocks constantly. Okay. Uh, at least we explode that guy pretty quickly. <laughs> He's no centaur, Chad. I think we'll be fine. Nicely done. Got our kill achievement for them. We're being attacked by the things from Super Metroid. What were they called? Like the nebulas? They're in the Fantoon ship. So rude. That was so rude. Spikes right at the bottom. Irks. Oh, just invincible. Got it. Okay, so we're still going. Okay, I'm gonna hold the jump button so I don't die instantly. Okay, so there's no reward for beating the boss. To be fair, it was pretty easy. I guess unless you count the reward as a red key. Jump to the other side. Oh. There's a character in here. Hmm. This is what the Gorgon was protecting? It's just rocks and... Yeah, nothing but corpses. Oh, well, I mean, there's a guy that clearly has color. It's the live in the cage. <coughs> you live? Yes, I live. What are you doing in a place like this? In this deep underground, no less. Been caged here for several days. I know not how long. I was captured by that two-headed beast. What's your name? Bram. The name's Bram. Oh no, Chad, it's Bram Stoker. Glad to make your acquaintance. Say, are you carrying any water by chance? Or better yet, can you free me from this cage? I'm afraid most of the water has been poisoned, with the source of the poison being the tower we find ourselves in. You were aware? The river carries the tower's poison downstream. All the villages. Hmm, I had no idea. I ventured here from upstream. Upstream? No way! Nobody lives upstream in the frozen north. Ow, something seems fishy with this guy. Let me out, Peck. Where are you calling it, Peck? 
Organs don't capture people. They kill and eat them. How, are, how and why are you still alive? How can we trust you? I wish I knew. But one thing is for sure. I won't live much longer in this cage. Tell us, why have you set foot here? I have come here to slay Gorgons. Just let me out of here. We can rid this place of them. Together. Guys, we could use all the help we could get, right? Oh, are we actually getting a new party member? Yes, you're absolutely right. Let's try this again. Um, what's your name, girl? I, I'm Kyuli. And you, white of hair? My name is Algus. It's nice to meet you both. I'm a swordsman. Possibly the greatest swordsman you've ever laid eyes on. I mean, do we need sword when we have, when we have magic? Have you heard of the crystal swords? Never mind that fairy tale. I slayed several gorgons and I can prove it in battle. But you must let me out, Peck. Stop calling me that. My name is Arius. I'm sorry. Arius. I beg. Please free me from this wretched cage. <laughs> also, I like that when she's bent over, she really is like 50% head. It is kind of funny. Like little itty bitty arms, legs, head, body, TBD. Allow me to repay the favor by offering you my strength. Alcus dot dot dots. Arius, free him. B but just do it. If he tries anything. We have him outnumbered. We could use the help. I don't want to do this, but I trust you, Al. So I'm assuming he's going to do like a sword thrust and maybe that's how we do the Wario tackle. Maybe if he's a new party member. Still have a bad feeling about this guy. Damn, we have super jumps. Why can't we jump that high normally? Thank you, Arius. I would have thought he would have said he was going to be an axe user. If we were going to go off a Castlevania style, I would have assumed axe user. He's going to chuck like diagonal axes so we have no more angles to cover. Dot dot dot. Truly is 80% head, it's so true. Now that I'm free, can you lend me a sword? Don't push it. Fine, Peck. I don't need it anyway. Still fight using these chains. Oh, so he's literally going. Is he literally going to be using whip? We have the character that is suspiciously named Bram, like Bram Stoker. <laughs> he's gonna fight like he's fighting Dracula. Bram, wait. Tell me more about the Northern Lands. Great swordsman, but fights with a chain. Sounds more like a farmer to me. That feels like it needs a boonch followed by laugh track. <laughs> See, he's proud of it. What was that? N nothing. Wait up! Bram the Gorgon Slayer has joined the party. Okay, so we did get rewarded, but what does he have? Okay, so it's literally. It's literally Castlevania now. I'm sorry, his strength is 22. Wow, okay, so his so his gimmick is that he comes actually fairly evolved. Okay, that's, that's not useless. Whip, 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 whip. Still can't kill those, though. So... Okay, so we got a reward for going this way, but there's somehow still a down, even though we can't go any further down on the map, just for clarity. So, if I go further down, do I just die? Like, what happens here? Oh, it's a campfire. Or maybe it just can't scroll down until I go further down. I guess we'll rest and see the cutscene. I'm gonna go a little further before stopping. Just wanted to thank you again for freeing me from that cage. It was our pleasure. Thank you for helping us with our plight. Any excuse to destroy those stone fiends, huh? You mentioned that you came here to hunt them. You must really hate the Gorgons. They cannot be allowed to live. They massacre us and find joy in death. Oh, so it's just like us. My village was slaughtered by a Gorgon, powerful enough to break free from the ancient ruins. What happened? Where did the Gorgon go? I tracked it. 
and killed it. But I fear that all Gorgons are getting stronger and stronger. If they aren't taken care of soon, many more of them will be able to break free of their stone forms. And then... We'll all be in trouble. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is, Chad? It's not going to be a Wario tackle. If we're going to go off of Castlevania lore, I wonder if he's going to end up with, uh... Oh no, what was the Castlevania game on the Game Boy called? Oh no, not Dawn of Sorrow. We played as Juiced in it. Was it Dissonance? It might have been Dissonance. Where we get the steel tip on the whip. So I'm wondering if we're going to get like a weighted whip to whip the blocks. Because that's what you did in the other game. Maybe that's where they're going to go with it instead. Instead of Wario Tackle. If there's anything we agree on, it's that we must destroy the Gorgons. Also, I don't know why there's a period on the it's that. You're ready for an incredible lunch. <laughs> that was such a topic change. <laughs> Another one of your weird monster meals. Yes, but this one is a fake steak made of, out of Flogia slime. Arius dot dot dots. Yui dot dot dots. There's no meat, but the dish is made to resemble it. You won't be able to tell the difference at all. I guess I'll try it. Arius, come on. You should try it also. Dot dot dot. It's slime slimy. <laughs> yes, but Flokia slime could take different attributes depending on how it's cooked. Oh no, chat. This is turning into delicious in Dungeon. Well, I've never seen it be anything other than slimy. Just trust me. Take a bite and tell me what you think. Wow. This is delightful. Mm, you were right. It really tastes like food made from a creature. Well, Logias are alive, so you are eating food made from a creature. What do you mean? I thought they were just slimes. Uh, they, uh, uh, never mind. Enjoy your meal. We're basically back up to full because we dumpstered that boss. I could see if there's something to inspect over there because it gave me a little indicator. Beyond the trials lie the riches. Cool. Oh. Chat, seri well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're gonna put a warp between these two points, but you didn't put a warp between these two points? <laughs> okay. I like the upper half of this tower. This catacombs, not your best work. Go back to the drawing board. I did not need a warp here. I'm not sorry. I really did. You could have put a warp like over here. If you put a warp here, I think that would make sense. If it was like six more tiles, I could almost see it. Need that though. Pew, pew, pew. But we can't wall jump or do anything yet, which is a bit awkward. Oh, the ceiling spikes. Wow, he is tanky. Is that a red key? Oh. Ooh, we have a choice, chat. You know what, chat? I'm going to leave it up to you. Do we use the red key here or use the red key that's up here? This feels like definitely a harder dungeon. The question is what we decide to do. I'll let you decide, chat. I'm just thinking if there's anything else I want to do before I end the stream. Apparently, we found another warp, which I feel is super unnecessary because there's nothing to fight in between these four rooms. That feels a little silly. There is a blue key I could use just to use it up, but I'm not going to do that until we're done. So we know there's some kind of secret over here. Um, we did not get a Gorgon Eye going this way, though, which is awkward. We're here, but try easier first. Sure. I don't even remember the name of this area. It was Mechanism 1? Mechanism 1. We'll go a little further. I'm a little curious what lies beyond the red door. Let's see his damage, by the way.
Okay, so once he faces away and I attack, I can kind of do whatever I want. Thank you, Murphy. Welcome home. Hope you're doing well. If this just leads to a single item, I'm, I'm going to be extremely disappointed, unless it's some kind of mobility thing. Oh. It kind of was. Zeke says, hey, how'd you find me? Huh, magic. <laughs> it's, it's not as impressive as you think it is, Algus. Huh? Really? Are you some kind of wizard or something? You could say that. My name is Algus. What's yours? I'm Zeke. These are my friends, Arius and Kyuli. Nice to meet you, Kyuli. You're so pretty. Ah, oh, calling her pretty right away. Annoying. <laughs> You're a cute kid, Zeke. But what are you doing in this tower? It's really dangerous here. Surely you know that. I came here looking for that Gorgon's treasures. Those magical relics, maybe one day, I could become a wizard. You mean like Algus? No. I mean like a powerful wizard. Damn, we got burned. Actually, no, he's annoying. Leave him. Damn, truth though. How annoying. Zeke, we can't really allow a kid to stay here alone. Is this the Maria of the party? Is he gonna throw birds or some nonsense? Won't you come with us and we can take you out of this tower? Zeke acts vicious mockery. Yeah, we took some serious damage. Hmm. No, I won't leave until I get the prince's crown. What's that? It's a powerful relic. It's the wear of great strength. You could get it for me, then I'll come with you guys. How are we supposed to know where to find it, Zeke? Well, last I saw it, it was in an area infested with Cyclops. I had to go there, but I was too scared. I hate Cyclops so much. We could do that. Slay a few Cyclops, get the crown, and save the kid. Arius dot dot dots. Algus dot dot dots. Guys, he's only a child. Don't be like that. Fine. All right. Great, it's settled. Zeke? Can you tell us where to find the Cyclops' den? Yes, of course. Just about seven floors up from this room. All right, let's go fast. Get this over with. Hey, wait! Huh? You better give us an item, right, chat? We paid a red key for this. This better give us something good. There's a Cyclops statue that protects the area with lightning. Oh, we were there earlier. Oh, okay, that's fair. You need this to pass the statue. Is that all we need to know? Why is he vibrating? What was that? I think so. Now hurry up. I'm getting impatient. Ah, oh, hurry up. Is this kid serious? What an annoying little worm. Guys, knock it off. We'll be back soon, Zeke. Stay safe. Okay, that's a little more fair. Let's go. I haven't found the prince's crown yet. The entrance to the Cyclops is around seven floors above this room. So, he's being very literal. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and right there. So, I guess I could go do that? Then we'll end. Assuming it isn't, like, some super crazy BS, I might as well just do it. Oops. Leaves, he gave us an item, that's true. There we go. Not too many additional souls here. I'm kind of curious if the other guy has abilities we can unlock when we die, or if he has some unique dialogue for when we die. You know... That was so rude. Jerk. We got there eventually, chat. Oh, that's actually a solid wall. That's awkward. Up one. Oh yeah, the sword guy's still fine. I'm scared to use the whip guy until we have stuff like this. Speaking of which, he's got eight defense. 
I think I exited by accident. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to blame being tired there. I think I'm still fine, depending on where we are. I think this might still be fine. Oh, it's not fine. We used the we didn't use the red key. Whoops. My bad. I'm definitely going to blame being tired on that one. I am not awake. Anyway, let's go do that. So at least we know we don't have to go that way. We could be surprised again in the future. Not like there are any items over there, so it doesn't really matter. Gotta go back this way a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna mash through the dialogue. At least this should go pretty quick. What's with the time travel? Mm. I said before, I'm very tired, but I'm willing to go like a little further. Perfect mayhem! Thank you, Chris Grimm, for the raid. We're just going back through some of the dialogue. Unfortunately, it did not save when we uh, quit out. So now that we have that, let's go see where to use this. Thank you, Chris Grimm, for resubscribing. Welcome, raiders. We gotta go back through this place. One, one step too far, unfortunate. Get out of here. There we go, we're raising the fireball just because we can. Hopefully you're doing well. We are just on our way up here. Almost three years is insane. Mm. Uh, is it worth kicking up there? Maybe it is. Let's do some wall kicks here. Okay, so our destination is three rooms to the right, then we gotta go all the way up. So let's do our best, I guess. We still can't get through that area, unless the whip naturally goes through there. I guess I should check. See, it is shaking. So I'm wondering if we're gonna get like the Castlevania upgrade as I said before to get the weighted whip. Then we'll be able to break those blocks. It jiggles them. Indeed it does. This looks intriguing. It's uh it's basically like a rogue light Castlevania. I think you would probably like a Chris We're still like we're still pretty early in, even though it says 58%, we got like a big tower to climb. So if you want to basically conquer something with like a bit more difficulty with platforming, it's been pretty fun for the most part. I would say the only bad part we've gotten to so far were the catacombs. The catacombs were terrible. I don't know why they laid them out like that. Yeah, so you might notice we're collecting something below our health bar. Every time we die, we can upgrade our character. So there's no way to heal unless you find candles. Specific candles. So you are required to make the journey. I did not go to the right side of this room. That is so sad. So you can see on the right side, I'll move the chat just for Chris and Grimm. We broke a candle. It's kind of like hitting the waypoints in like uh, Shovel Knight or whatever. And those give a little bit of healing. But yeah, otherwise you're kind of on your own. So we've been abusing some death warps for sure. I'll take some damage here. So I can't get that power up for now because I don't have what is needed. So yeah, we're slowly getting new mobility skills. We just got another party member. So far, it's been decent. I would say, like, the first hour or so is a bit more rough, just because you don't have, like, a lot of abilities. After that, it's been fun. And you get to do nonsense like that in just one shot. At least the revisit is quick. Yeah, I'm kind of curious if this game ends up having a randomizer, because there's so many keys and things like that. I'm sure they could get some pretty advanced logic in there if they want to. Also, I still don't know how to access this room to the left, other than somehow I have to get there from over there. 
With infinite wall kick, can I reach that now? Oh, I can. Oh, actually, do this now. Sure, let's go take a small detour to go see what this is. The ominous flame. Get out of here, flames. Randomizer for this sounds scary. I'm sure it is. Love like it just wall kick up here. Oh, where does this go? You know, there are a lot of places in the map I thought we were going to go. And to be honest with you, this was not one of them. Hmm. So now I'm kind of curious. You're going to make me pay to leave. <laughs> Fine. Fine, I'll pay to leave. It's over here. Okay. Um, well, we, <laughs> the tax was immediately repaid. It says there's a secret area. I mean, I could see chains below me, so maybe there's like literally an area right below this room that I could do something in. Oh, that's where the secret was. Interesting. We had a feeling there was something in here. Because we finally got the ring that lights up where the secret passageways are. But I like that there's like a little bit of a visual cue. I will say it's it's not that it's unnoticeable, but they do like to hide the hidden stuff behind the wall. Like now that I'm looking at it, I can see it has more like holes. That's kind of interesting. Oh, so wait a minute. Could I not have reached this before? Oh no, if I had dash, I could. So I could have been here earlier if I would known about that door. So then where does this go? Oh. Okay. Right, chat? Oh, I got my red key back. Okay. Ooh, it put us here. Oh. Ooh, very interesting. Then I can unlock this for later, then. I like that boulder precariously placed above the switch. Interesting. Is this... Is this... Oh, it is. Oh, that's cool. So we can alter this room. Remember, Chad, I was here before and I was like, where was the secret? Now it makes sense. It was from this area. Oh. Suddenly that makes more sense. Hey, item. Get out of here, random mages. Don't mess with me. I've powered up since we've last battled. Amulet of Soul. Let's see what it does. Ouch. Let's see what it does in a second. Just out of range. That should kill him. We're gonna make sure to kill all the enemies in case there's a secret in here. Then we'll move on. Alright, so what is Amulet of Soul? Amplify soul energy, increasing the number of orbs you collect. Ooh, that was so good we went here then. Okay. There's a blue key, which I guess I could go take. Oh, does that whip really not hit? That's so sad. That hits, though. This probably... Oh, that, oh, that kind of hits. All right, let's kill him, because he's annoying. Um, I wonder if dash will work. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, we're going to believe in the Lord and Savior of Monster Eye to just deal with these things. Good enough. All that to get another blue key. I wonder if there's a purpose to unlocking the jail cells we saw below. I was going to say, we could just blitz him now. Hmm. So the whip user is pretty solid, but I think that's also just because he starts with such high stats. There we go. We've now unlocked the secret. I don't know if this helps us ultimately, but we did it. I guess that was worth exploring.
And we unlocked a shortcut back here. So we still gotta check out that uh, one area. And I think we're good. We have, it looks like most of the collectibles. So we know there's gonna be a green eye, and then presumably one more key item for opening doors. And then I hope the archer character gets more abilities, maybe? <laughs> right, chat? Like, interesting. So we took some damage. I might heal on the candle here. Ouch. Well, now we took more damage. Yeah, I don't view this as, like, super treacherous, but I would like some healing. We have to go up, potentially. I wonder if it's faster to go this way. Rather than do what we did before, since we can now go backwards with this character. It might save us a headache. Oh, we're not. I will say, it is definitely easier to get up there without doing the platforming. But that did not help us. Get out of here. On the plus side, we have a lot of souls, so we might be able to give the other guy his unique ability. Just to see if it's any good. His damage is decent. He just doesn't... Yeah, so we can pop these. So we might as well as... You know what I mean? Give ourselves a chance. Carved idol has been absorbed by your body. Let's go in the mouth. Oh no, Chad, it begins. There is a lot of mid-bosses who no longer trigger the boss music when we come in here, which is kind of funny. Poor mid-bosses. Yeah, run mid-bosses run, exactly. Ooh, that's kind of an awkward... He is this guy briefly. We'll need the mage. We could save. Hmm. Go this way. Our beloved prince. Quarantined from the world after suffering a bite from one of the small vile creatures. The gate will open once again, but only when every cyclops in the area is slain. More cyclops remain. They lost their cool music. It was all they had. Damn. Kind of true, though. The truth was stated. Okay, so at least the sword guy is still decently strong, so we could kind of chip him out long distance style like this if we need to. Got him. So definitely improving his attack speed makes this way easier. See, that didn't unlock anything. Let's go down here. We're basically about to genocide all of them. That's all I've learned. Are we gonna learn man is the monster chat? What do you think? Oh, you can't dash unless you're on the ground. No air dash. Good to know. So anyway, if we were leveling the knight, the knight would be uh, just kind of a free kill at the moment, which to be fair, they seem to be doing more damage, so that means they take more damage on the Reflect. It's good. It only takes, like, what, four Reflects now to kill them? Maybe five. Maybe five. Come on. Oh no, they got more health in general. So about 200-ish. Or you could just do this. <laughs> oh, mage. You're clearly better than the other characters. You can't tell me otherwise. I don't want to get dripped on. Try to avoid that. I could get the healing here. I might as well ask. I think the intent will be to clear whatever this is. Open up a shortcut. Just 
just like how much damage he's taking. <laughs> right, Chad? Just like, how, he's just like, mm, just put him in the grinder real quick. Like, look at that. No other character can compete with that damage total. What a character. Yeah, it's definitely like a very different experience. Like, this game would be very interesting to replay. Just from this, oh, really? I missed that jump. From the standpoint of just like how broken like some of the abilities are, like once you learn what they are, it's like wow, what a what a different gameplay experience. Might as well as whip them a few times. And I like that there's a mix of, like, tougher enemies and weaker enemies, so I feel like I actually still am somewhat relevant with base stat characters. So that's still pretty quick. Alright, we're, we're just doing this. We're, we're not messing with the eyeball chat, listen. Oh, I canceled the projectiles out. That was awkward. Didn't realize that was the thing. I guess it makes sense. We've seen it before. Maybe two more reflection kill. Yeah. And we got the kill achievement. So many dead Cyclops, Chad. Just explodes. <laughs> it's just like... He's like, I'm gonna swing once. Actually, already dead. Hmm. Let's see, so I. I can't go further right on the map, so that means I'm probably at my limits here. I probably wanna pop these, because I'm probably also never going to come back here. So I might as well heal up. swapping characters. That was awkward. Oh boy. I feel like I'm about to take some damage, chat. Something tells me. Oh, there we go. Dodged it. Oh boy. <laughs> what is all this? Deal with these real quick. Activate that. So it really wants me to have multiple save points for some reason. I'm not really sure why, because we don't need the character swap. I don't think it's possible to even have gotten this without the character swap. Oh, I got two damage. I'm not even sure if it's possible to reach this place without character swap at this point. Unless we were like literally only purely bow girl or something weird. That creature to come down a little more. That might work. There we go, open it up. Oh, I got bad news for these enemies, right chat? Super bad news. Oh, you can deflect the water drop, that's funny. Killing spree. Alright, so the knight still proving useful despite having the mage. Like, the mage is still clearly better, but at least if I want a guaranteed clear without needing to dodge, it's nice to just turn your brain off and just murder them with reflex. But sometimes when you just really need them dead, you don't want to deal with their gimmicks. Couple places we could go. I would like to point out, chat, we have not found a warp, contrary to the catacombs placement of things. I don't think I want to go that way yet. Go up first. Is this a warp? No. This is a save point, though. I will take the healing. 
this is simple before. I don't think I'm gonna come back here if we can avoid it. Let's kill you. I guess the nice thing is that this area gets way easier once you kill them. Because then you only have to deal with a couple enemies on the screen total. Unfortunately, for these enemies. There we go. I can't just hit them every single time with a reflect. At least not on the first one. Unless I time them a bit differently like that. Hmm. So, Chad, I would just like to point out, no warp. We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 rooms in. We have not seen a warp. warp. That's different. But you know what we can do, Chad? We can finally use Bow Girl. This is for you, Chad. I've used her. Look at that, I can multi-hit them. She's, she's out of retirement, chat. I finally can hit vertically. She is used, yeah, pretty much. I don't feel like crossing that as other characters. I don't think she's faster than the other characters, but sometimes I just really don't want to take damage. With damage increaser. Wait, can I not reach that? Switch, I was gonna say. Give her extra health. Yeah, we all know who's getting the damage increase. <laughs> Needs more power. <laughs> Don't need to play as other characters, it's fine. Here, um... Well, that scared me. I guess I'll save our progress. So far, this dungeon is much more enjoyable to do than the uh, catacombs, by far. This feels much easier than catacombs, actually. I don't have to deal with, like, nonsense slimes or, like, falling projectiles. Right, chat? Just instantly better. Oh, I got clipped. Unfortunate. There we go. Hmm. I like that she can hit down the wall like that. That's cute. That does give me more of a reason to use her, at least. But her damage is so bad right now. When we're done maxing the other character, we'll pump her up a little. Yeah, I'm surprised she doesn't do more damage to all eye monsters. Why, why does that not hit properly? Game, please. There we go. Ooh. Dash. Hmm, that enemy is in kind of an annoying spot. Is it possible to make him walk into this is the question. In that briefest of brief steps, that's enough to kill him. Actual insanity chat. What a what a godlike character. Can we all agree? Just step put one foot there, GG. Let's not fall down. Oh man, chat, if I fall wait, if I fall down I have to go all the way back up. Oh my gosh, please don't. Okay, chat, we are, we are taking our time. If I fall, it's like eight rooms to backtrack. I don't want to do that. Okay. Okay, where's the shortcut? I got hit. Wait, did you put a drip below the soul count? Chat, come on. That is uncalled for. Don't do that, Astalon. Please move that. If you want my advice... Don't put that. There's like two pixels visible on screen before it hits you. That's so stupid. Big frowny face, chat. <laughs> Big frowny face. I was wondering what hit me because it was like, honestly, it's only visible by two pixels. 
It would have made more sense if it's like where I was standing now. I don't think they thought that one through. Uh, I'm gonna reset. Okay, so we did all that, but then did we kill all the Cyclops? I don't see any other room we could have been in. Hopefully that was all of them. Or else I gotta go on a magical journey again, I guess. Again, at least those enemies are pretty easy to kill. With 6,000, I should be able to get at least one person's ability. So if I want to make the Blue Knight, like, purely defense and then give him a special for tanking, maybe that would make sense. What? Oh. Oh, hitboxes. Okay, I was like, I was so confused. Oh, more remain. I missed one? Damn, that sucks. I don't know where I missed it, chat. I'm gonna go back. Unfortunate. I made the loop. I killed one through the wall, so I didn't have to backtrack. Unfortunate. On the plus side, at least we have the dash jump. Speed this up a little. Oh, that was so. That felt so clean. Take that shortcut. We don't need you. That scared me when the shot went backwards. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, don't hit me, please. Hmm. Where was the last Cyclops? Because we killed all the ones in this area. At least I don't have to go back through here. Did I miss one in the middle somehow? Because I think I never went through because of how this monster was spawning. Yeah. Maybe I didn't go this way. There's exactly one left, according to the kill count. Now, now that I look in the upper right, I can now see it there. Ah, uh, I found you. So just one. That wasn't too bad. Now we're at zero. We've killed all the Metroids. A mechanism is heard somewhere in this area. Oh yeah, now that all the Metroids are dead, let's uh, let's go fight, I'm presuming, the, the Prince. Yeah, my bad. I was I was so focused on the character, I did not look at the update to the UI. I think that'll work. Ooh, there we go. Dodge that drip. There we go. It is really satisfying doing the dashing in this game, even if it kind of locks you in a couple times. Nice. At least there's, like, skill expression with the mobility in this game, which is good to see. Like, I, I don't think I'll hit the upper bounds of that particular skill expression. But at least I could say there were moments I had fun with the mobility. Well, I guess I'll save. Not that I think it makes a big difference. We'll go collect Zeke, and then that will be the last thing we do. So fortunately, we're very strong for this area, because we are just blitzing through them. Run, Prince, run! You don't understand, I do infinite damage. Right, Chad, I do infinite. I got hit, my bad. He got actually dumpstered. Almost a flawless victory. That's more player error than anything. Poor Prince. Let's see, his crown...
Cheap Crown made a fake gold retreat for that weird kid in the mechanism area. There you go. Now we seem to have all the optional characters. It might lock us out of some endings by doing all this, but that's fine. I, uh, that's fine, I can live with it. I don't need to see every ending for this game. We saw one ending already, at least, where we just left the tower. Okay, how- where do I go? Oh yeah, like, down, 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 down. Um... Is there a faster way to do this? Ugh. So many rooms. You know what, chat? There is a faster way to go to where I need to go. <laughs> right, chat? There we go. There, There's my fast travel. Adds extra power and range to his attacks, okay. Increased damage based on your kill count. Kill count resets when you die. Oh, so he does have an axe. Interesting. I kind of want to see what these are. I'm willing to pay some money. So more reach to his chain, and he now gets an axe that presumably is no downside. Make him slightly tankier too. Let's increase his attack speed. Seems like he could be fun. Um, uh, we'll buy other upgrades later. Let's just get our health up as much as we can. So yeah, let's see how good he feels now. So, okay, so it makes sense. As I said before, he seemed like an axe thrower. Damn, the callout is real though, chat. Can we talk about it? Oh, so he's got the upgrade from, uh, oh, what Castlevania is that? With the little whip flame tip. But that extra range actually is kind of nice. But anyway, let's go to... Boop, boop, boop. Need to go here, so mechanism one. So now the more we kill, the more damage he does. There's a character that we could potentially just scale infinitely with, which is interesting. He also covers an angle that we don't have access to. This damage is going up, so maybe every five he gets another point of strength. I think chat can agree. We can see this kind of going out of control. This little soul cache. So he's already doing 34, so he, he basically went up two damage. But we have to get the kill with him. Which, to be fair, I mean, if you're playing as him, might as well have fun with him. So maybe we'll use him a bit more? I mean, having this diagonal throw is huge, because we have nothing that covers, like, above us like this. Oh, maybe Zeke will let us open those gold boxes now? Did you get it? Did you get the prince's crown? Is this the item you wanted? You guys did it? Unbelievable! You were able to defeat that blue Cyclops, and you aren't hurt? Yeah, we, well, <laughs> we hurt ourselves after the boss battle. <laughs> nope, it was no sweat. I was talking to Kyoli. Oh, what a brat. Uh, yes, I'm fine, Zeke. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm what you call a bench warmer. Great, I'm glad you're safe, Kyoli. Now, Algus, give me my crown. Uh, he commands me now. Unbelievable. <laughs> wow, that was a power arm. Did you see that? At long last, I have it. The crown of Prince Alex. Watch this! Is he gonna open this now? Oh, okay. So he chucks blocks. I feel the power running through my veins. I'm unstoppable! I'm ready to leave this place. Let's go, friends. Thank you for finding the crown for me. It was our pleasure. Say, how old are you, kid? 24. <laughs> um. He's older than I am? <laughs> He's only a child, huh? <laughs> Shut up! Seek the treasure collector has joined the party. Uh, apparently he's 24. We got what? a new unlock. I'll go character portraits from another dimension. Okay. 
Ain't 100% completion of the BC area. That's going to take some time. So now... We can play as him. He just throws random objects. Okay. And he crouches when we attack. I don't know if that actually changes our hitbox. Different, I guess. Well, this character... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. This character also covers the diagonal, I guess. Wait, what's his damage? Wait, I was like, wait a minute, what's his damage? Wait, 18 is still pretty good. Wait, that's so much stronger than our other characters. I mean, I don't think he's going to beat this in terms of damage. Yeah, the fact that he scales basically infinitely, chat... Means I could just sit here and grind it if I really wanted to and basically just hit with 99 golden axes, which I think would break the game completely, which is why it's tempting to do it. Oh, look at him go and vibrate. Okay, so there was a golden box. So I can lift things, huh? I wonder if he can go to. I think it's Gorgon Tome 2 and do something. Yeah, I don't know if there's an upper cap on the other guy's strength. There is a box here. I remember this box. Is there a point to this? Can I leave, can I leave the room with this? What? What? So I could just bring this with me? Does that break anything? If I do this? Can I reach stuff I'm not supposed to reach? Hmm. That would have been useful before Infinite Jump. Again, I feel like this character probably should have been introduced a little earlier, but... I'm gonna check one more thing since I'm here, since I don't know where the game will start me. He's just so fast at that attack. I like the extended whip range, though. That's very Castlevania. Oh, I thought that rock was solid. I was getting ready to jump on it. Okay, so with the new whip, still can't do anything with it. <laughs> but he does interact with it, it seems. So at least he kind of one-shots enemies now. And again, it's just going to get easier and easier, because they do stupid stuff like this. Kill stuff from off-screen. There we go. So yeah, like every five or so seems to affect his stats. Which, if you're exploring areas, is kind of not that hard to do. So if nothing else, it feels interesting to have these abilities. So I need to go... Oh, I'm sorry. I need to go right and then down. Uh. <laughs> I wonder if he keeps it when we save and quit. I mean, if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. But it is funny that he's now doing 37 damage. Because I think that... Okay, so I'm mashing axe while whipping. I can't do both. So they, they did stop me from just spamming all the sub-weapons, although we could see some goofiness happen. Okay, one well, on the plus side. The one-shot potential is real. So it's... Oh. So from my standpoint, what I'm looking to do... Oh, I can't do it from here. If... I'm this character. So actually, the whip users are tankiest character, so I might as well just stay as him for a while. The only thing I want to see, chat, what was up here? Uh, extra health. Ooh, a plus five. Okay, that was worth the exploration. Oh, I almost landed on that. That is so close. Bonk. 
So the extra souls is nice, since we are pretty early in the game, I would say. When we got it, like, we're barely at the 50% more. We know there's going to be a lot more souls towards the end of the game, at least. But I think from this standpoint, um... I don't remember why we couldn't get this offhand, but... We know we need another red key, so maybe we'll go... <laughs> maybe we'll ignore the yellow area for now and just continue on the other journey. So what I'm going to do... We're going to test something real quick. And this I don't want to rest for sure. We're going to exit game. If I come back, is my kill count reset? That's all I want to know. Also, I just realized the sprite for those characters looks like Final Fantasy Legend. It looks like the redhead character, human character that walks around. It remembers our kill count. Great. Then we'll get a kill and save again. <laughs> So now this character can kind of scale into infinity, which is interesting. So as long as we play well and don't die, and given the fact that we can shop without dying, we can maintain his bonus at least. So it should be interesting. So yeah, that, that opens things up. So now I feel like the talking to the statues has more merit. Now that we have a character that really benefits from it without needing to spend souls. But anyway, let's chat. So how do we think things went? Well, had some platforming issues, but not gonna lie, the bosses were kind of easier than the other bosses. Isn't it weird? Is it just me, chat? Or like these, like we were doing a lot of damage, yes. But I feel like even the patterns were easier than the earlier bosses. Like the knight refight might have been different, but he died too quickly. But like the other one where it was just jump on the platform and hit the boss. I don't know. I, I don't think that was harder than the first boss jumping in the poison and dodging the projectiles and all the other things. Guessing what side he's going to be on. I definitely feel like the first boss was harder. Like the very first boss we did in general. Just because there were more moves. So even with the enemy going into phase two, I don't think it mattered. I think it would have been harder if we didn't have deflect, I guess. Maybe. But yeah, deflect OP. So we now have two new party members. We can pick up blocks like we're in Super Mario Brothers 2 and kind of pick them up like toad chucking blocks, I guess. We have a character that scales really well. We'll have to see what the other character's special ability is. I'm more inclined to get that than to play with the other characters. As I said before, the Blue Knight is actually pretty decent. I think the problem is now the mage has just gotten so many story buffs that there's kind of no point to playing the knight for damage. For general survivability, he has more defense than the starting characters, and his dash is useful. So I'll still use him from t time to time, but I will basically still never use the bow user. <laughs> just, I'm sorry, chat. Maybe when we're done, we'll max our stats. I'm, I'm even more interested in leveling the kid over her at the moment. Algus is definitely too strong. Yeah, the fact that he hits once, doubles his damage, and he attacks almost as fast as the knight, and he's got more range than the knight. It's like, wow. And he, and he has one of the abilities that solves platforming problems for me, which is glide. I talked about it before. I would enjoy it a lot when we get to double jump or glide. We got glide. So he's basically the character I would play the entire game with, which I guess to some extent it makes sense given he seems to be the focus of the story. But yeah, what a, what a ridiculous power jump. It is nice, though, that souls are starting to come in at a pretty good rate. So if I just clear on the way to a boss, I feel like I'm getting, like, several upgrades now instead of, like, a couple of bad ones. So now experimenting with some of the other things isn't too bad. But I think overall, chat, we're gonna end it here. So thank you all for watching, but uh, we're going to go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube at this point. If you did watch to this uh, point in the video or the bot, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching, and hopefully see you again next time.